got another foggy day in the neighborhood. Yesterday was also a foggy day. What's up with this? So we've got big plans for Rat 8. The same plans that we've had for a while now. <laughs> Work on mechanics and electrical. Work on gardening and trapping. Read books, kill zombies, flatline on that 75 stream streak. What the fuck? What the fuck? Here, this is for you. This is for the 75. Your victory. God damn. You're putting in the work. Almost. Almost as many streams as I'm at. <laughs> Hell storm on that four month sub hunting for 10k today. No, we have 10k. We have we have more than 10k. We have eight. 18k but it has been 10k zombies <laughs> it's been 10k zombies between here and like here <laughs> how many more k's do you think it'll take us to get into here am i halfway done 20k 20k no it's okay. We'll probably get another 10 more K. That's, that's the idea. That's <laughs> we're halfway done. Even that seems optimistic. Halfway there. Whoa, whoa. Living on a prayer. We'll make it. I swear. He's getting very close. Rat seven. Let's get the official count. Rat7 did not break 20k. I think she was like 19,500 something. Yes, 19,537. That is my current personal best in Project Zomboid. 19,537 zombies killed. Rat8 is just a little over a thousand away from being my new PB. All right, I want to bait traps, work out, and then we're gonna go kill zombies, hopefully. The fog will go away by then. That's the idea. I can't believe they're gone. All right, we're going to have to do one day of worm farming and tree chopping. At least one day. But that's fine. We need a break. We need a mental break from the slog of murdering zombies. Go ahead. Eat your food. I see that was a half serving. It does look like we're doing half servings right now. Because... Are at a very good weight. Let's drop the bags. I know we just had a bunch of rain, so I don't have to worry about the garden. Alright, health, exercise, squats, 60 minutes. Needs a cigarette. Ready? We'll pass it for sure. I mean... Yes, he should definitely pass it. I mean, Rat 7 shouldn't have died. Rat 7 died because 
I made a series of rapid fire bad decisions. <laughs> so rat seven shouldn't have died. Rat eight definitely shouldn't die and should pass the record. And I like that. So far, I've had an upward trend with the characters. Rat five was a little bit of a downward trend. That was a painful lesson to learn. I, ha I had the naive belief that I was safe in a car. I would always be safe in a car, especially if I had a good car. Rat 5 died so that I learned that lesson, that I'm not safe in a car. Cars are not safe. <laughs> you should take a, a break from the tedium of Zomboid by playing some more Zomboid, but that's actually why Zomboid's so addicting for me. Because when I get bored of killing zombies, I go do something else which feels almost entirely different, you know? It's like, oh, I'm decorating now. I'm using a different part of my brain. I'm using the creative side. And then when I go kill zombies, that's much more like orderly and routine focused. And more engaging, because it's like, you don't have to make the decision. Do I kill the zombie or do I not kill the zombie? It's just all, yes. Kill them. Kill them. S Seven was fishing. Uh, one second, I gotta go open a door for a cat. How does this door get closed? That's the most important door to not close. That is the door to two of the litter boxes. <laughs> that door must stay open or my life becomes a little stinkier, a little shittier. Haha, ha, but I'm shh. All right, I need spears. I've got three. Got one on my back. One in my hands. Let's grab two more for the backpack. I only have one stone axe to swap into. I do have my two belt axes, but we're going to try to keep those as pristine as possible. Also, uh, who else does it bother that our right belt axe is stored with the blade going forward? But our left belt axe is stored with the blade going backward. Where is the symmetry? This is awful. I hate it. Let's not look at it. Let's zoom out <laughs> and just ignore that reality. What a Z monkey. <gasps> Bunny hopped off the roof. Her legacy. Her legacy. Bunny's first cannon death. The roof jumper. It, that's going to become an, an interesting collection of deaths. <laughs> Daisy would never. I don't know if Daisy would never. I think it's because your character's right handed, maybe. So it's a direct pull up from the right side and a reverse pull from the left side. You know, that might... We can, we can say that. Yeah, I like that. We'll use that as our explanation. I feel like they should be... on our belts the opposite way, too, though. Like, shouldn't they be hanging down from the handles? I don't know. I don't really have a dog, a dog in that fight, though. <laughs> I don't actually wear enough axes on my belt. 
uh, to really have a good understanding of how it should be. Did you see pocket candy? Claire mentions the word dog. Chat, can I pet that dog? <laughs> oh, can I break that spear? Yes, yes I can. Uh oh. Alright, I need to prioritize filling up my water. I'm nearing three months survived on my 16x run. Finally got a foothold and surviving. Excellent. Three, four, car. If this was actually an emergency situation, you would have performed terribly. That would have been a failing grade. Uh, but since this is not an emergency situation... I guess you'll live another day. I'm gonna try leaving the car running. See if that helps round up these zombies that don't want to pay attention. Don't want to get out of the trees. I feel like we're losing summer grass and heading to winter grass. Everything's getting browner. Wow, you really did a good job killing them on one side of the road only. Thank you. It's one of my strongest sk skills. I love killing on one side of the road. I just, I'm not a good driver, so I don't need any speed bumps. <laughs> I don't need anything to complicate the driving process in Project Zomboid. West Point gas station is an excellent base location. I'm that's one of I'm either going to do probably the West Point gas station. I kind of want to check out American Tire, but I feel like American Tire is just going to be a danger zone. It's like American Tire is like right next to four different cells, like an intersection of four different cells that <laughs> in one of the most notoriously packed Zombie cells. I don't think that's going to be a base location. Maybe that can become a monument to death and destruction. I left the car running specifically to gather up you zombies. You. You. All of you that are just staring at your toes. Staring at your shoelaces. I should have honked the car's horn, I think, before I before I fully got out. I think that would have helped. Alright. I do wanna see what's in the bag. Oh, 
Oh, there goes the spear. What have we got? All right, nightstick, no weapons, or no guns, sorry. You did have a weapon. And then bag ladies right here. Are you bag lady? All right, and I don't want your bag. Are you a corn docker? <laughs> oh my gosh. I like that. Come over here. I'm currently basing in the three houses northwest of West Point by the river. That is such a great base location. The three houses. That's one of the strongest, like, easiest to get to base locations. Like, in the sense that you can spawn in and in day one. If you spawn in West Point, you can basically walk there. Uh, okay, I guess there's nothing in the Park Ranger. Where are you? I will add you to my list, Empty Park Ranger. I shall, where am I? Do the tally. We're up to 12 and no bullets. Which of the three houses did you pick though? Bowling for Jake. The north, west, or south one. I feel like the north one is the strongest, but it's also the ugliest of the three houses. I think I need to bring the car back up here. Let's do another... Let's pull it up. Probably right around here and do another honk. I think we're in horn honking territory now. Never noticed the billboard text before. Nice ale 8 reference. I've been calling it the citrate. The citrate sign. And you're still running. That's kind of nice. I forgot I left you. On. Man. I need you to step away from the vehicle. We're only at the first stage of corpse sickness. I probably only have one more pull before I need to head back for the night. One or two more pulls. Let's make them big ones. I need another spear on my back. There 
goes the spear. Make to the north one across from the Wit River. I came with a boat at the dock, so I kind of had to. And my CD Day playthrough, the top one with the hedge burned out. A boat modded Aqua Star. Ma'am, your van is missing a window? Yes, it is. That's the window I broke to get into it. I stole that van. I stole it fair and square. What's in the spiffo bag? A book. I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Corpse sickness for life. We're just in a constant state of fly. What's going to happen when Rad 8 maxes out all of his skills? I'll have to just be better about creating stink-free patches where I can sit or stand in. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll just grind reloading. <laughs> we'll just grind le reloading in between bouts of corpse sickness. Or maybe I'll put corpse sickness back on normal. Eventually. I left a running vehicle right next to you. How are there more of you just chilling in the tree line? All right, park rangers right here. Park ranger, are you finally going to be the one that rewards me for checking all the park rangers? No, no, you're not. I say, maybe I just notice it more when the zombies have gray hair. If we get so many gray haired backpack, <laughs> like kid outfit zombies, it's so funny. Hello, my fellow kids. I'm one of you. I also have a spiffo backpack. Don't mind. The receding hairline. Don't mind the full head of gray. I'm a teenager just like you. Build 42 should allow 16x players to eat flies. Oh my goodness. Can you die from corpse sickness? Yes, you can. It has to get really bad though. We've, we have, we've got the mod that makes gas mask get rid of it, so you've never even gotten queasy from it. Oh, that's too bad. Rat 8 found a gas mask. I have gas masks. Rat 8 found a gas mask super early on in his military LARPing days. Out by the barracks. But they don't work. Not in vanilla. I think build 42 is going to change that. I think you'll- I think gas masks are gonna work in build 42. 
They're because they're adding more illnesses. I think there's going to be more consequences from bad things, like things being dirty. Living in a dirty house is going to have negatives. I think that's how you get rat infestations. Jump scaring me at my house? Out of shape. That's a good call. We've had jump scary zombies at the base the past couple streams. <laughs> Gotta clean up my cans. I don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to be cans? Is it going to be like general dirtiness? Is it just going to be like blood splatter? We need it. We need. Is it gonna be like Rimworld where all of a sudden everything gets dirty incredibly fast? And they're like, how? How are you doing this? How are you producing so much filth? You tiny little animal, you. I hear the aggressive bird noises. I hear you. All right, and then we have a bag of bags. Oh, great, we had every trap hit except for two. It's not too bad. And we're going to store all birds that are 25 and bigger in the deep freeze. One, well, I might actually have a couple. Right, quite literally a couple. I think that was like two or three. The rest I'll just put in here. Oh, I wonder how my generator's doing. Oh, you're good. I must have filled you up right before I ended stream. You're perfectly fine, generator. Alright, we'll have food for tomorrow, but I'll definitely need to cook soon. The garden should be watered. I have all my rain barrels just refilled. Broccoli. You're doing okay. Tomatoes. You're also pretty happy. I've read, <laughs> I've read all the books. All right, that means you get to do some reload training before you go to bed. Because that's one part of aiming we can work on now before we hit the gun store in West Point.
It's going to become floor mob simulator. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure you'll be able to control that. Every aspect of Project Zomboid you can tweak with the like in sandbox settings. So I'm sure like you can control now if you want your character to even get dirty or not. So I'm sure they'll have like a world, uh, a world setting you can tweak. Hopefully they implement the unused code that makes you waste away if you don't get enough protein fat in your diet. <laughs> Please don't. Currently you can just live forever on cabbage, which is super unrealistic. I mean, do we want to be able to die of old age in Project Zomboid? Yes or no? How realistic do you want your video game to be? It's a difficult balance. Especially in like a survival sim. Because you don't want it to be too realistic. You really don't. Because then it's like, well, go out there and just live real life. <laughs> just go do the thing then. Forever. You want your, your Project Zomboid character to live forever and ever? Forever, ever? Forever, ever? If we... If Project Zomboid ever does fully become like The Sims, where you can like have a family, I wouldn't mind raising like a legacy group of survivors. I wouldn't mind the aging process in that context. But if we just get old and die, no, just let me have my video game immortality, please. But if aging actually becomes like a core mechanic of the game, I can see how they could make that fun and engaging. All right, since you have to make food in the morning, go ahead, sleep. I love that idea. Have kids, then play as kids when you die. Yeah, or a state, like a state of decay kind of idea where you, you have a group of survivors and it could be like a whole little, like you could bring other survivors in. So maybe you haven't had kids yet, but you, you know, you found a buddy to survive with, a roommate. <laughs> you found a roommate, an apocalypse roommate. So when one per character dies, you can pick up and play the other character. And then maybe those roommates could transition to be lovers. And then they could have their own little kids. And then when the parents die, boom, orphan story. <laughs> orphan origin story in the apocalypse. I'm missing a frying pan. I have my two roasting pans. I have my one griddle. Where's my third frying pan? What did I do with it? Am I, do I just not have an extra one? Maybe I just don't have an extra one. I'm pretty sure I did though. I'm pretty sure I've been cooking six, <laughs> six stir fries for a very long time. <gasps> I found it. All right. That's the danger of having too many containers all shoved in one area. <laughs> Sometimes you're trying to put something away and you might put it in the wrong bag. All right, here we go, though. I'm going to start the prediction. I will explain how many sticks. It's a simple game to see how many sticks will it take to get this fire lit. You're all early birds, so you probably know. 
But will it be one, two, or three plus stick? Rat eight does not have outdoorsmen. So no boosted chance. That being said, one stick's still pretty common. I think last time two and three stick. We're going off though. I need another rabbit. Potentially. Right, let's use up the acorns, the mushrooms, the cabbage needs to be used up. That's stale. Let's mix in some potatoes. There we go. So some of this is going to be too small to even use. That's what I'll little bits are you doing. We're just cooking them to get the XP. We're gonna toss them. Alright, roast. We're putting in an acorn. Let's do cabbage, cabbage, two, two pieces of cabbage. I'm just worried this cabbage is going to go bad before I get a chance to use it all. And then we're doing a piece of small bird meat, some rodent meat, and then uh, a little bit of rabbit. These are going to be super good happiness meals. But uh, you're not depressed, are you, Rat 8? No, I've been letting you chain smoke to your heart's content. So you're a happy camper. We're doing two pieces of rabbit, one piece of small bird, one piece of mushroom, and then the rest, that stale cabbage. Eighty-year-old zomboid characters with level ten nimble. I believe. I believe. Grange seventy-five reached that three stream streak. All streaks are good streaks. Teach your kids carpentry. I wish I had been taught carpentry. Wish my parents had dedicated their lives to an art artist and craft that they could have instilled into me. Whether I was willing or unwilling to learn it. That'd be dope. Right, do I have a D? Yes, I do. A thawed out rabbit. Thank you. Ekster 107. Thank you for the follow.
It'd be bomb if they implemented survivors in Zomboid and then when your tune dies, you can play as one of those survivors you've collected. I... I really hope they do that. Because that way people... You could still have the brutality of Project Zomboid with the... No, you get a bet, you're bit, it, you're dead. But then you, you could have a continuation in the world that you're playing in and building. I think that would be fun. I put, I was about to say, uh, not all those birds. Not all those birds needed to go in there. But all that can go in there. All right. Back in the fridge. Let's put everything in the right spot. Didn't actually use any potatoes. Need to pull a rabbit out of the freezer just so it's ready to go. But I might need to start rabbit trapping again. Alright, let's I'll check after the prediction. Here we go. Our food is prepped. The predictions have been cast. We got 67% one stick, 28% two stick, and just 3% or 5% or on three plus. Let's find out. Who's going to take first stick of the stream? Ooh. That's going to be one. Hear that sizzle? That's going to be one stick. Starting off strong. You're still at the gas station? Yeah. I've killed 10,000 zombies between me and West Point. I'm just not there yet. Do you use the skill recovery journal to keep XP across rats or nah? I do not use the skill recovery journal. I want to create, I want to go through the vanilla route first. So once I finally get a library of all the books and all the VHSs, I want to actually see how painful it is to level a character up from scratch. And I know there are skills that do that you can't level that way. Like mainly the fitness skills and the weapon skills don't get leveled like that. But having all of your crafting and your survival skills get boosted and then only really having to reclaim your zombie fighting skills. I, I want to see how that goes. If that feels still really painful, maybe one day I'd have a skill journal, but I don't mind starting over. I kind of love starting from scratch in Project Zomboid. <laughs> it's the only thing I like more than surviving is starting over on a fresh Project Zomboid character. When every piece of loot you find is amazing and you're like, oh my gosh, my first eraser. Valandra, thank you for the lurk. Put out the fire. Most painful is mechanics. There are mechanical VHS tapes that should let you boost mechanics. I haven't really found them, but I have heard tale of them. Are you really hungry or are you fake hungry? I'll let you eat half of this. 
Very nice. You can store it in your bag. Go ahead, have a cigarette. Pick up more spears and it's uh, back to, to your 9 to 5 of being a road cleaner. I feel like if you didn't enjoy starting over, you'd get burned out on Zomboid fairly quickly. I, yeah, or you could just turn off, um, you could just turn off infection. When I was, like, learning Project Zomboid, I, I, I kept getting to Carpentry 3, or Carpentry 10, and then I kept dying. Uh, so then I just turned off getting bit. <laughs> Turned off instant or turned off infection. You can still die, but at least you don't die from a single hit. You gotta die from multiple, multiple lacerations. You gotta bleed out. And that kept me that kept me playing because after after losing my level 10 carpentry character the second time, I was like, alright. I'm either not going to play this anymore, <laughs> either need a break, or we're doing it this way. And then after I had my fun on that character with those sandbox settings, I was like, alright, time to turn it back on. I'm ready. <laughs> I've had my fun. I've learned more of what to do and what not to do. Going around a corner, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hug a corner. All right, and if I remember correctly, we're up to, yeah, right around here. I'll pull these three in and then I'll do a actual horn honk. Come on over. Once I turned off Zeds entirely and just played survival sims for a while, some people argue infection off is a cannon because the Nox infection gets confirmed to be airborne, but your character doesn't turn, which implies immunity. I won't debate canon. I do like that, but I, to me, zombies have to, if if a zombie bites you, it needs to kill you. That always used to bother me in Resident Evil, <laughs> when you'd get bitten by the zombies and you would it wouldn't be instant death. I'm like, well, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy. Ooh, meta event. Are you going to help be helpful and pull zombies out of the trees? Or are you just gonna potentially pull zombies that were in the trees deeper, deeper into the forest. Why are you over encumbered? It's because the hand axes are so heavy for like a belt weapon. I feel like this wasn't too so bad. Alright, let's 
put one of the axes away until I break some more spears and drop overall weight. Sir, not from directly behind. Do you know how hard I've tried to cle clear these roads so that I can back up and not have to worry about it? Ooh, camo zombie, camo corpse zombie. It's not fair you're cheating by blending into all the other dead and decaying bodies around me. I did not think. That would be an instant kill animation. Get over. I play with a 0.6 zombie multiplier and 2x XP. It is much more fun that way for me. I like it. That's that's one of the reasons why I love Project Zomboid. It can be as it, as difficult. You can make your perfect sandbox. Your perfect sandbox. Whatever your perfect zombie apocalypse is. PZ gives you the tools to make it like that. And if PZ doesn't give you the tools, there are mods. There will be mods that will help you make it even more of the apocalypse of your choice. Wow. As soon as I got into the car, huh? I should go back. I should go back and work out. But I'm... Let's skip. Let's skip one day. We're up here. We're up here in the new area. Not new as you can tell we have been here before <laughs> zombies have died here if you can tell by the bits of debris i have left behind from them but it's been a long time since we've been back up there oh yeah this is why i'm over encumbered i have 10 spears in my backpack Might need tin spears. Alright. This is what we want to get to. play with 0.5 starting pop and 1.5 at day 28 so I have a month to get situation before it gets crazy I love that the community is so chill about the fact that everyone not everyone goes full try hard well it's also I think the people who play on 16x I think we understand that it's just a lot <laughs> It's just doing the same thing you do on the other ones, just a lot more. It's just holding right click and then pressing left click a lot more. <laughs> and also, I mean, there's, there's, it's a little more involved, but at the end of the day, I feel like that's kind of what it boils down to. 
It's like an it's like a marathon versus a sprint. But all of Project Zomboid is a marathon in that sense. It's just how long can you go? How long can you be entertained and not get bored and risky? Or bored and careless? Or, like I sa I've said, cozy. Cozy and careless. Stay with me. Keeping my stink piles back here. Nocturne? They were the two months? Appreciate it. Put your hands together. And I'll mark them with a special sign. Alright, I don't want that bag. Give me green and light green bags. I don't want the brown bags. I've had them. Another one from the side. Alright. Conga up. Let's get out our spear. I need to get another spear on my back whenever I have a moment. And before I do another big pull. I need to let Red 8 sit and rest. Because he's been out here for a while. We didn't go home for a rest break, so... He might be getting close to being exhausted. You know what, I think I'll just rest back here. In case even going up just... Am I safe? I look pretty safe. Rest. Sit on ground. Uh oh. There's corpse sickness too. But I'm gonna go up here in the no stink zone so it'll be better. It'll be fine. There are less flies up here. A pleasure literally landed on the sub expire event and resubbed in the same event. <laughs> if you save a gun and a bullet, you can pull lots more Z's than yelling. Yeah, I'm pull. So I'm using the horn honk to pull in zombies from the outskirts and then to kind of herd the zombies to me and not get them stuck on my car. But from what I've heard, a uh, shotgun is supposed to be a hundred tiles, so the horn honk should be louder than the shotgun. The horn honk is, I think, the loudest noise I can make besides the helicopter. Or if I go real fancy with mechanics. All right, we're going to do a little drive just up here away from the stink. One zombie? No other zombies are coming? I don't want to get pinched in. If I have to abandon the car, I abandon the car, but... All right, that's what I'm worried about up there. <laughs> But we might have cleared out. 
this are, are getting close to clearing out the cell that's right before the West Point cell, which has been the big problem recently. I feel like I should not have turned off my car. That was just a bad habit. All right, I want you to drink this. So this, this is a good example of how I'm pulling. I'm honking the horn, driving the car. That pulls in most of the zombies. And then I regain the zombie attention from the car. Because <laughs> they're going to be more focused on the car than they are on me by screaming. A gun would be very effective, though, to re-pull instead of just yelling. But the yelling should help me so that I don't get completely overwhelmed and surrounded by zombies. Because Red 8 doesn't have crazy fitness. It's not quite a killing machine. We are already back up to corpse sickness. Take this broken thing. Let me put this mug away. I need another spear for my back. And then we need to get in the car and go home. There's a zombie over there, yeah. Uh-oh. We might need to leave. <laughs> I see my lungs. That's what I was worried about. Did I get too big of a pull? I don't want to run all the way back. We're so far out. Let's see, what of these moodles can I take care of right now? I can take care of the hungry one. So go ahead and eat. That should help with heavy load and being hungry. Now we just have fatigue. I have a spear, so fatigue isn't too big of an issue. Can still get easy kills. Corpse sickness is my biggest concern. Let's go rest out here for a second. Should be enough tiles away. I'm gonna 
just going to hold shift so that if a zombie walks up on me, I am ready to sprint. That wasn't necessary. We're fine. Still have corpse sickness. But I think I can go get my car. I feel refreshed. All right, and the car isn't really surrounded, so this should go fairly easy. I'm gonna check your pockets, police officer lady. I need to check them. I saw the three dots, that's a bread knife. Ma'am, do you have... No, you got nothing for me. Alright, well that worked. That worked. Oh, I was like, oh, did I say that worked too quickly? Did I say that worked too quickly? Car, please start up on one try. I hear that zombie growl coming to get me. I was using the fire engine. Ah. Oh. I think that's a modded vehicle. But I bet that one is great for pulling in zombies. I think sirens... Sirens, I was told, aren't super useful for vanilla. Because... They can be destroyed. So like on police cars, the bar can be destroyed by zombies. So if you leave it running, zombies will actively attack it. And it doesn't... It's not louder than a horn. It would be nice if they tweaked stuff like that. Alright, let's put your hand axe back on you. Ten spears was the mistake. Fill up your spitho mug. Add some lemongrass to it. Let's make sure your water bottles are also full. A little bit. All right, and we did reloading yesterday, so let's work on some mechanics today. <laughs> That's why you take the muffler off an already loud car, leave it running after you honk. Siren is a noob trap. Use a loud engine without a muffler, because zombies won't break that. You've got to think, you've got to think like a meta, meta player. <laughs> Your IRL logic has no use here. Have a good one, Valandra. See you later.
How are you doing, Car? Oh. Apparently, your hood's been open this whole time. This car, I think, is pretty loud. 57? I guess that's above average quietness. Clara 02 Rudd, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We have good name syn synergy, Clara. It's big brain time. Gotta unlock your full metagaming potential. Reject reality, embrace game code. You might think you need to drink water to stay hydrated, but you'd be a noob. You gotta eat cabbage. Cabbage all day. You might look at a bleach bottle and then look at a bourbon bottle and be like, well, obviously the bleach bottle carries way more water than the bourbon bottle. That's readily apparent based on their sizes. But that you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. Don't trust your eyes. Only trust the game code. <laughs> oh, let's... Alright, we'll do it later. No, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. I have to walk all the way over here, though. Reject hydration. Embrace cabbage. Or beer, you know. Beer is also a great way to stay hydrated in Project Zomboid. You might think these cheese sandwiches and these peanut butter sandwiches are the same size, but you'd be wrong. Look at them. They're different. Alcohol is how I survive the winters. Alcohol's finite, remember. Well, it's not quite finite. You can find beer and bourbon off of the trailer park zombies, so it's actually very renewable. As long as you're killing the right renewable zombies. I don't know if I've ever forged alcohol. That's what I was trying to think of. Like, have I ever forged a bottle of wine? Or forged bourbon? I forged bourbon bottles. I forged bourbon bottles with water in them. I don't know if I've actually just forged a bourbon. Or like a can of beer. This is his cabbage emotes. I'm, I've been rewatching Avatar: The Last Airbender because I've been searching for a really good my cabbages soundbite. Well, watching one of my favorite childhood TV shows. There's a really good one in, uh, season two. Spooky. But I don't know if that's the best one. So I'm going to wait till season. I go through all of season three. To find the best my cabbages soundbite. 
Oh my gosh, you're so tired. You can't be this tired. It's only 11. You have to stay up at least two more hours. You actually hungry or are you fake hungry? No, you're actually hungry. Eat the other half later. All right, let's assess the skills. Spear, we are almost a third of the way done with spear six, maintenance. Uh, is lagging a little bit behind. That's fine. Carpentry. I, I just need to make more spears, honestly. Make more spears and axes. Cooking's coming along nicely. I'll be able to read the cooking book soon. Farming's good to go. I stop farming uh, at December 1st. So whatever is in the ground December 1st is dead to me. I will not harvest it. So we're going to have one more month of farming. Maybe, maybe we'll get farming tin in that time. Mechanics, I'm plugging away at. Tailoring, I think I'm limited by thread. Maybe I should take some time and go to one of those zombie piles and rip up some clothes. Yeah, because I'm 100% out of thread. Alright, I might do that. I might do that next time I'm out there. Mechanics. I have one and a half more skills. And then metalworking. Ugh, that's, good. that's a propane in my ass. <laughs> we need more propane before I can really do metalworking. Or I need to take a long trip and go to, like, the school and disassemble lockers. So both of those have sunk to the bottom of my list right now. I think you're doing good. We're, we're, I'm keeping on top of your skills. And I won't skip leg day again. I promise. And then Rat 8 will pick up aiming. Uh, hopefully we'll have a decent ammo haul from the West Point gun store. All my hopes pinned on the West Point gun store. I saw something that said the cabbage vendor in the live action is the actual voice actor for the show. Okay, that's pretty cool. The newest live action, Afternoon, Senorita Claire, Afternoon, Conejo. Those skills, I know. He's building some gold. Your wealth is your skills in Project Zomboid. Look, even our strength, they're almost at strength eight. Not too worried. Nimble's coming along bit by bit, but I'm not worried about sprinting, light footed, or sneaking. We'll probably level those up sometime passively, honestly. Probably we'll level those up very passively once we reach West Point. Or maybe I'll take an active interest in trying to level up those skills. But they're also low priority. All right. Very nice. Very nice, Red 8. Going to bed on a banjo note. When was the helicopter? Just, by the way, 10 20. Okay, yeah, 10.20, so it's been six days. 
So I have four days of safety. What up, you owe? Car. Thank you. Thank you. How quickly? you I've hardly hit anything with you, Car. You're looking much too tattered. You've bumped a couple zombies, I feel. I feel offended by your condition. <laughs> Ooh. You all must have followed me from a, a very long way. How'd you end up over here? All right, that's cool. Love it when a spear is one swing from being broken. All right. Here you go. <gasps> Lost my latest run. Kind of mad about it. Uh-oh, what happened? We were just talking. I was just talking about one of my runs earlier. <laughs> Back when I was not playing Project Zomboid as much. And I got Carpentry Tin for the second time and I died almost immediately after. I was like, alright. Changing these settings. I'm going to enjoy Carpentry Tin. I'm going to get it and grind back up to it and then I'm going to enjoy it. God damn it. Ooh, not paying attention and mis-aimed with a spear. That's a rough one. That's a... That's like my... That's, that's a Hail Mary push. You're like, let me just go back three seconds, please. Just three seconds. Let me rewind time. looks thinner. I'm seeing a lot more skeletons in it, so... Maybe the pile will disappear soon? Hit me with the spear breaks? Hiding nearby in the trees than I expected. Well, that's just because my expectations are fucked and I always think... <laughs> I'm always like, is today the day? Is today the day there won't be any more zombies between me and my goal? Maybe. Maybe today will be the day. Or maybe it'll just be more zombies. Oh. 
to get my spears reset. Yep, out of the trees. Out of the trees. If the horn hunk wasn't enough to get you out of the trees. Please. Rendezvous on the road. Oh my gosh, you can just you can see their little bodies blooping out of existence. These are actually not broken spears. They were extra spears that uh, were too heavy for me. So I left them behind. When one body disappears, another is killed to take its place. And thus, the great stink pile never shrinks. It only maintains its great and prominent. Excuse me, that is a half condition. Do not give me half condition weapons. I can't even attach that to a spear. Meat cleaver spear, the ultimate spear that they won't let us have. It becomes axe spear, the god, the godliest of all weapons. Alright, last stream we got two katanas. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else got anything for us? No? Not today? That's the bad thing, I guess, about finding two katanas within two minutes of each other. The next time. The time between finding these katanas and the next one is going to be very long. God, the corpse sickness is just building. They're still swarming. I guess this is the nice thing about having your car running. If they're within earshot, they're showing up. All 
Alright, I see we're fatigued. The car is still surrounded. Just going to stand. Zombies come to me. I think that works is why an example... I think this works kind of to show an example for why sneaking doesn't always- isn't super successful in Project Zomboid. Because even though those zombies were distracted by the car, that's why they were all bunched up hearing the car's loud noise and stuff. Even though they were doing that and focused on the car, they were still uh, glancing around a little bit. And they- if they saw me, they would immediately leave the car. And you saw how often they were checking. How they kept popping up one after the other. Still killing zombies on the road? Yes. Rat Eight's life is killing zombies on road. Just in different sections of road. But we're getting closer. And the kill number's going higher, so good stuff has to be happening. I'm a thousand K off from a new PB. We're only 15, we're less than 1500 kills away from 20K. A nice big milestone. We might get it today or we might get it Friday. I normally kill around a thousand-ish zombies a stream now. We'll get there eventually. And then all of my hard work will have paid off because I'll have great loot in West Point. It's going to be the best loot that anyone's ever looted. Not skipping the leg day this time. Sixty minutes. Go ahead, put on your bags. Come over here, sit down. Hyper speed. All right, I want to bait the traps. Make a new stick trap. And more bait. My worms away. Go ahead and eat your food. What's your weight at? 82 and dropping still. I think he'll be good. We'll keep doing our half eats. Right, scraps all taken care of. I definitely need more spears.
right, that's good. And once again, back at it. We're getting further up, though. We're definitely getting closer to West Point. Let's look at the big map. I want to look at the cell borders real quick. All right, so this is where we are. This is main base. We're kind of at, we are, we're at the very like southeastern most of our cell. So as I go up here on the road, I am probably dealing with two cells, two cells worth of zombies as we get closer because the zombies over here uh, can hear us. So I have to fight these zombies and these zombies. Let's go up. Now this is where I've been at. And we're starting to push up. So this is the new cell of zombies. Now my question is, have I pulled enough of these zombies and killed enough of these zombies already? So that this is going to be easier and then I will just be starting to fight zombies for the residential area. You can see the, the cell borders right here. Or have I just finally finished fighting these two cells off of zombies and now I have these two cells to fight. <laughs> Which means we're probably a third of the way there. If that's the case, I'm a third of the way there. I have four more cells worth of zombies to fight through. Best case scenario is I'm two thirds of the way done. does feel like the piles are thinning and then staying up here. Right. That's to be expected because I honked my horn and drove around a bunch before I left. It's like they're playing a game. You have to touch the car door handle before you can eat my brains. I don't know why, but it has become a ritual of the zombies. They must sniff the door. All right, I see the three dots, so that's definitely a bread knife. Broke tradition. Didn't touch the door handle first. Just letting the car hang back right now because I did honk the horn earlier. I 
I swear I saw a zombie wander into those woods and I kept th I kept thinking, all right, they'll pop out eventually. They never did. Oh my gosh. Finally. I knew you were back there. How do you always get stuck on trees? All right, there's a spear break. Goodness. Right at the start of a pole. And a pet that dog. House alarm is the loudest, but not exactly portable. Yes, a house alarm is supposed to be 600 tiles. So that means like a 600 tile radi like radius. Everyone's hearing that shit. You are not escaping. House alarm. Alright, I stayed near the body. Park ranger, will you have shotgun shells? Yes or no? You do not. The answer is no. Is there any way to stop steam from auto opening when I open PZ? I don't know. If you bought steam through PZ, I think there's an offline. Like if you just if you if you disconnect from the internet, you can probably still play Project Zomboid offline. It might still open the Steam app, though. I'm sure there's... I'm sure some... I'm sure there is. Nocturne is saying no, but I'm sure there is. I don't know it, but... I bet Google would know. I bet someone's made a YouTube video about it. Alright, and I'm going to resist because I want to keep... I want to have safe places. Safe places potentially to rest and recover from corpse sickness. Diving into some zombie kills. Take these spears. Police officer is supposed to check. Oh my god. Oh! I did find pocket candy though. Radish seeds and strawberry. One of those is good. One of those is terrible. Someone had matches. Who had matches? Someone had matches. Where did the matches go? Are they back further? I have to pause the game, otherwise I'm worried about building up corpse sickness. I don't know. I guess I... Hand a full book. How how kind how kind these zombies are.
right click project zomboid in your steam library hit properties and then hit the launch options button add minus no steam one word line and that should be about it very nice Buy, buy it from a uh, green man gaming. I just uh, bought and refunded Dragon uh, Dragon's Dogma Two. I was getting hyped to play Dragon's Dogma Two, but these early releases. The early reviews of Dragon's Dogma 2 are saying that even on computers, you're getting, you can get, like, the reviewers are saying they're getting 20 to 30 frames per second, even on PC. <laughs> In town. I've heard, I've been hearing that it's a super CPU heavy game. And I have a very old CPU, so... If it's... If it's like that, I don't think I'll be able to play it. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to play it, so I refunded it. Uh, and it was really easy. Well, it wasn't really easy to refund, but they did give me a refund for it. So, I can say that for them. What up, sun's out, puns out? I need another spear. Let's get another spear in our back, because I bet this one will break any any minute. Or it'll last forever. Go on, spear. Go finally. That's not what I want. Did you try the demo of Dragon Dogma 2 first? The character creator demo? No. I have it downloaded. I was going to make my character tomorrow so I could jump right in. I've been playing Dragon's Dogma 2 though. But yeah, I have um... I need to upgrade my computer. Or I want to upgrade my computer. There are a couple games that I just don't play. Because I know my computer would not be happy with them. Trying to hide under the menu. I'm 
looking at my corpse sickness. I'm looking at the exhaustion. I should just go back for the night. Like my processor struggles with Project Zomboid. <laughs> my str my processor struggles with pro Project Zomboid. That's why, like, anytime we make a worm or we're loading in like an area I haven't loaded th that day, or in between. Remember when it rains and I go, I drive up here, and the game has to load a bunch of puddles. It takes a very long time for my computer to think about where it should place all those puddles. It's like, God damn it, it rained. We got a load of puddles. There should be puddles all over this place. Where do we put them? Let's think about it. Hurry up. Everyone put their thinking heads together. <gasps> Not the puddles. It is funny. But I think that's top of my list. My graphics card is okay. It's... It can hang in there. I, I think I can wait till the next cycle of graphics cards. I don't think I need to update it, but processor. Oh, I think it's time. Also, look at us getting snow. A little bit of snow today. birds. I keep forgetting to bait my rat trap. Shame on me. That's gonna break. I don't take better care of it. I hear you birds, I hear you. I'm gonna get you. I hear you. I hear your traps. On my way. <laughs> Just aggressive noise still. You got it all. Do we have any that'll be good enough to be frozen for winter? One. You got one that's good enough. Alright, you're terrible. You're just going to get cooked up right away. Maybe I should do this. Don't wait. I don't want to waste room storing these tiny ones. Just straight into the fire. So that next time I cook, I can harness your sweet XP. Graphics cards are expensive these days. Yeah, I'll probably try to get a refurbished one. I try to get a lot of my electronics second hand. All right, let's put the matches away and continue to use up that lighter. You're hungry. Here's some food. You might need to eat more. Yeah, you're 81. 
definitely going to want to eat more. That's all of your food. That means it's time to cook again. Specs. I get about half my stuff used. I'll, I'll try to add specs so you guys can see what my computer's like. That's on one of my, that's on my streamer to-do list of stream chores. We're doing two. Oh, wait. Let me start the prediction. Here you go, chat. How many sticks? Your reward for sitting through cooking. We've had one stick so far. Or we've had one prediction so far. And it was one stick. Even though Rat 8 doesn't have outdoorsmen. No boosted chance from that. One stick still very common. We're going to do one piece of cabbage. One piece of mushroom, and then one piece of potato for our recipe today. Our cooking has been keeping the depression at bay. Oh, wait. I need a rabbit from out here. How many rabbits am I down to? Six? Maybe I'll start rabbit trapping again. Uh-oh. I should have pulled that out earlier. Oh, no, I did have one. There we go. It was just hiding. All right, maybe I'll set up rabbit traps after this. Oh, I'm out of cabbage. I, I used it all. All right, tomato then. I bought a mega expensive monitor refurbished and it has been 100% no issues for a year. I like buying refurbished stuff because in my, like what I, when I buy refurbished stuff, I feel like it comes with a better warranty than new stuff nowadays. Like a lot of times if you buy something refurbished, they're like, we 100% guarantee this will work. Here's like a three, five year warranty on this piece of refurbished tech. And like new tech, you get like a one year war limited warranty. <laughs> they're like, mm, we guarantee it'll work for like one ish years. But after that, you're on your own. Versus like the refurbished refurbished stuff they're like okay we're we actually are giving you a better guarantee now <laughs> all right 
Do I really only have little tomato bits left? Okay, we'll do double potato for the last stir fry. So I only have little bits tomato left. All right, minus five. I'll just eat that. <laughs> minus eight. You can stay in the fridge. One more meal. You're right, in this case anyway, you have a good warranty from Micro Center. I finally started focusing on trapping. It shot up from four to nearly eight, super quick already. Four stick traps at base, nine snare traps. Potato down the road from my base. So much meat, absolutely. Yeah, especially with the the nine snare traps, that's doing a lot of that XP lifting for you. Snare traps go hard. Why do I have three sticks? All right, here we go. Prediction is over. Oh, goodness gracious. We got 91%, 55k channel points all on one stick. 7% on two and just 2% on one plus. Let's find out if that 55k is going back to the one sticks. Or if we're going to have an upset. There'll be a new stick in town. Nope. That's one and done. One's on a streak. Two times in a row. There you go, one stick believers. We took a real good look. We promise it's not a piece of crap. I get my phones refurbished too. Or at least I've gotten a couple phones refurbished. I can't remember if this newest one was refurbished or fresh out of the box. <laughs> Only good thing about living in a major city is access to a micro center. I'm 45 minutes from Micro Center. I usually upgrade when they're doing a crazy Bobo CPU RAM combo. I don't know if I have a Micro Center near me. Here, eat some of this. I don't know. I want it to be warm. Don't give me unhappiness. Just snack on some... You know what? I should just put these in a bowl. Create salad. I'm going on a, I'm going on a field trip tomorrow. Let's go chop trees by Dix uh Let's go chop trees by the old base. And then helicopter, we should have a lot of zombie decay.
sleep. Like I got a CPU plus motherboard for 130. Like that's not bad. That's what I'm afraid. I think I'm going to have to up like upgrade my motherboard and my CPU at the same time. That's why I've been putting it off. <laughs> All my food's in there. Now, what do I actually need to take with me? What did I put with my... Where did I put my fireman's axe? You need to be returned. I'll take you home. Man, I have a fireman's axe. That's what I was using for chopping trees. Did I leave it in the car? I might have left it in my car. Let me just check up here real quick before I go. Yeah, not up here. Let's get a goddamn frozen tomato for that rat trap. in here. Success. Right. Attach back. I don't need these spears right now. Going back to the old gravel road area. I'm not sure if you remember it. Probably do. The It's going west. West from our Moldra farmhouse. Up towards McCoy's. I made that road. I finalized that road. There's a lot of trees growing near it. And for that reason, I want to chop them down. I need trees for... I need logs for spears anyway. Gonna play Dragon's Dogma 2 this weekend and see if it will actually be a game I need to upgrade for, which I haven't needed in ages. That's what's gotten me thinking about upgrading. Like, I can't even play Dragon's Dogma 2. I just refunded. I just refunded Dragon's Dogma 2. Because I was, I was checking and my requirements don't meet. 
my my PC requirements, my CPU does not meet their CPU requirements. And I've also heard from reviewers, the reviews are out and they're saying it is a very big CPU drain. Basically all the pawns, all the secondary characters besides the player character are controlled by the CPU. <laughs> And, uh, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma 1, and even that I'm not playing at max settings, so I fear that my computer is not capable of handling Dragon's Dogma 2. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and hear what the common folk have to say about it. I'm not gonna go here. I'm just gonna go up. This is a very thick fog day. I don't know how I feel about this fog and chopping trees, but I guess I'm doing it. I guess I'm chopping the trees through the soup of this fog. Uh, did you try the can you run it test before giving up? No, I was nervous about, um, Green Man Gaming has a super limited return policy. So I was really nervous about not making it in time. They have like a super weird return policy. And then they were also like, they're like, you can't get a refund for a game 24 hours before it releases, even if you pre-ordered the game. Uh, they refunded me anyway, though. I'll say that. But I was nerv- I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to ask for a refund if I waited at all. And I was really nervous that since it's releasing tomorrow at 8, Eight PM, not eight AM. Eight PM my time zone. So I don't know your time zone. Yeah, I might buy from Steam just because I like their re I feel like their return policy, their two hour limit is a little bit more forgiving if I want to test something out on my you know, test out to see if I if I'm Already not listening to the spec advice that the developers are putting out. Oh my gosh, and look, I even have more wood here so I can just bundle up all this wood and take it home. Just like the good old times, Rat 8. Remember when your life had variety? And it wasn't just killing zombies in the same place you've been killing zombies? Remember when you could go out and chop trees? Never complain about chopping trees again. <laughs> you could be killing hundreds of zombies instead. I bought, uh, I bought from Green Man Gaming because it had a really good pre-order sale. But then the rev like I said, then the reviews came out and I was like, uh-oh. Maybe I should take the developer's recommendations seriously. <laughs> and not just try to keep scooching by on my... Perfectly fine computer. Any tree that is covering the road I, on this side, I think I'm going to chop down. It's going to make this side look a lot more barren, but I can't help that. 
You cover the road, you die. Car. Tree car. Maybe I should just like cut a better view to tree car. What's blocking you? Is it this car, tree car? I, I can't. I can't, I'm afraid to disturb the equilibrium of tree car. I can't even see it anymore. Oh, there it is. It just looks jankier and jankier. <laughs> Wave depletion. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All these bushes, like, growing perfectly diagonal. Alright, this tree, this tree, and then that one, all the way back in there. Are these like the tallest tree? The pine trees? No. Not the, the pine trees with the bare trunk. The pine trees that go all the way down are the tallest, right? These two, they cover a little bit, but I'll allow it. Not you two, though. When you are not a winter tree, you will block a lot of visibility. <laughs> Imagine how fast that car would be going to barrel into that position. I wish I could tr claim tree car. I wish I could claim tree car as a personal accident, but no. That's just PZ being PZ. And having trees grow underneath a car. <laughs> That's why trees shouldn't be able to grow in sand, Indie Stone. Just... Just let it go. Trees shouldn't be able to grow in sand. Bushes, fine. But trees... Think about all your sand robes. Let's go work out. And then we'll come back, gather up all the logs. Then I'll dig the furrow so I never have to do that again. Oh, 
We're gonna keep our a little nice little uh side to our road. And then we'll load up our car, go home, transform all of those uh, logs into spears, and maybe get carpentry tin. Who knows? It could happen. We're returning to a little, an unfinished side project over here. A revamping. Of the mass Jinfac building. Not search mode. Let's. I'll have you rest first. And then you can exercise. Actually, we don't need that. God, could you just imagine if there was a zombie followed me all the way in? I don't shut any of the other doors. It's very possible. <laughs> I do think about that sometimes as I leave every door open. But um, if I want to keep a building, like if I want to keep a building and I'm like, I'm going to base here eventually or use this, I'll open every single door. Oh, and window, if the windows aren't broken already. I'll try to grab those. So that way, uh, I don't lose any doors by being near it. Alright, the doors are a precious resource that I'm always defending. Alright, I didn't... Probably did not bring enough uh, sheet rope for all of this. <laughs> and I was hoping that one or two zombies would pop out. And no zombies popped out. Oh my gosh, all these branches I can use to make axes. We're about to fight the helicopter with resources. With your best weapon. I'm not afraid of these trees. <laughs> I'm not afraid of this nice little thick block of trees that I can't penetrate with my vision. All twigs and branches are going to go in here. Maybe I have enough sheet rope. I'm going to leave that out there. I'm going to start collecting... Are those hand axes on each hip? Has Rhett 8 gone fully axed when destroying trees? No, I've been keeping um, the hand axes on my waist because we have been using spears. So since I did get him axe 10, I thought it would be, it's a nice little treat. 
Nice little treat to have our belt pieces. Be our best skilled weapon. Trying to jump scare me while I'm right by the trees. It's a good call. The trees are very scary. Uh, one of the other reasons I chop trees is uh, I want carpentry XP. So I get... If I make like 100 spears, I get around 2,000 carpentry XP. So that's probably how I'll be finishing out car the carpentry skill. And I also need a bunch of branches because I have a huge amount of chip stones for making chipstone axes. But a shortage of actual branches. So... We're doing two things right now. Grinding for carpentry skill and getting more axes. Ooh, is that it? Is that all of my sheet rope? Yeah, except for one piece. Let's go around and pick up all the branches. In my current playthrough, I never thought an axe shortage would be my biggest problem, but it is now. Somehow, I only ever managed to find one real deal axe. And my stone axes shatter to crap instantly. Meanwhile, I have found two sludges and everything else I need. Uh, sounds like you need to go to Rosewood. Go to Rosewood. Loot, uh, loot the firehouse. Oh, I have more. Nice. Also, go ahead and eat one of your delicious prepared foods. That'll give you some more inventory space. Drop this. <laughs> uh, this is the backpack. Equip secondary. Let's put this backpack in the trunk. Swap it out for the empty one. I'm gonna put my backpack back on my back. And then we can leave this one here for more twigs and branches as I find them. Glad. Artiste says, glad to see people playing PZ. Super excited for build 42. Same. Same. Soon. Potentially in three more months. If the first half of the year tweet <laughs> is right. The first half of the year tweet is right. Three more months. Three more months is all we have to wait until... Build 42, if you believe that. If you don't believe that, then the most you have to wait is uh, nine more months because it's supposed to be happening this year. Soon. Let's go run these back. 
What are some ways to clear Zeds from an area without weapons? Um... Well, you can always do it with fire. I don't know if you consider fire a weapon, but sound is going to be your best. You can try to bait them away. That can that can work. But baiting's also a skill. But gathering rounding zombies up with sound and then pulling them away and then you yourself sneaking back into where you're trying to loot. I've seen people do that effectively. Do they always follow you? No, zombies follow sound and they'll follow to the last place they heard a loud sound, but zombies follow you via line of sight or the noise you make. So as soon as you break line of sight, either by, you know, going into the trees. But if you're running, you make sound when you run. So just remember that even running counts as noise. Fighting zombies counts as noise, so... But baiting a group of zombies and then using a building to break line of sight, going around a corner, that can be really helpful. But there's not much you can do in Project Zomboid without killing zombies. And baiting zombies away isn't always the safest, because... Depending on what your settings are, cell migration might bring them back very quick. If you're out in the open in the middle of nowhere, then <laughs> you're not, yeah, and it's really difficult to lose zombies. If there's nothing to hide behind, you probably have to kill them. You have migration off. I mean, that'll help a little bit. That'll prevent them from... ...walking back, but you'll still have to worry about meta events going off... ...and pulling zombies. But I, I haven't done that. I normally... I'm not great at, uh... Leading zombies away. I'm I'm a terrible zombie herder. Or maybe it's just terrible to herd zombies on 16x, but I feel like other people do it and they do it well. It's just me struggling. All right, how much more weight do I have in this car? I can probably get two more log stacks in, two or three. How goes the fight? It goes well. I'm taking a little bit of a break before I go back and start waiting for helicopters. I'm going to let some bodies decay and I'm Gathering up some wood, which will hope hopefully get me to carpentry tin. And then also r increase my arsenal of uh, spears ready and waiting. Alright, I can definitely do one more. One more. One more four stack. Don't fail me, baseball bat. I'm doing it for science. And see, the other thing is you could build... So player defenses aren't great for breaking line of sight because the zombies will just destroy the player defense. So even if you're, li if you're living in the middle of nowhere in a field... And say you want to build a wall so you can, like, <laughs> lure zombies towards that wall and then duck behind it and get away and break line of sight. 
They will eventually destroy that wall. And you'll be... You'll be shit out of luck. Alright, I don't want to take this. It's too heavy. It doesn't fit in the car. You won't fit in the car either. Alright, you're actually valuable though to me. So, open door. Put the bag there. Go ahead and close it. Let's go to the Moldra base. Although, I actually don't want to do that. Let's just stay up a little bit late. Because I want you to dig furrows. And I can't have you dig furrows in the morning. Because if you dig furrows in the morning, you're just going to be exhausted. So rest. Sit on ground. I'm just going to let you sleep in and we'll have a late night digging in the dirt. Zombie AI is really basic, but it's really good if they see you. They will keep following. If they hear sound, they will keep heading towards the last heard sound for a while. Yes. And zombies are constantly checking for you. Red and Aru has some really good videos. Showing how... It's basically like always take conspicuous how sneaking works in Project Zomboid, but the zombies check for you constantly. Like... a thousand times a second or something crazy. So if you're near a zombie, the zombie will probably see you. Unless you're in a blackout no-no cone. I always take inconspicuous. I think there's some good c gameplay that can happen with inconspicuous, especially if you level up sneak and stuff. But it, it is a, like a specialized trait. Yes, look at this exhaustion from just digging one long line of furrows. Nothing is more tiring than digging in the dirt in Project Zomboid. And... Oh. I'll go. I'll go all the way. Actually... Stop. I want the sand to kind of blend in. So I want grass and bushes to grow over it. How many worms do we have we gotten so far? 15? That's like chump change. They're going to laugh at me at the worm bank. I can't just go home and deposit 15 worms. Look at all these complaints. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. You never let me eat or sleep. Complain, complain, complain. You should enjoy this rat eight. Because after this, it's back to Stink Road. At least here, you're out under the stars. Smell of freshly chopped pine trees all around you. Don't tell me you're depressed. I'm 
I'm so surprised we haven't seen a single zombie though out here. I'm on guard. Even going next to this tree, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> zombies? Any zombies? Ready to jump out of these trees and attack me? I'm on guard, waiting for you. Alright, I would like to double line both sides, but for now, it is 4 a.m. I guess I'll leave it at this. There's only one way in and one way out of this car, and that is the driver's side door. There's a bag in the passenger door, so... I have no- I have no escape routes. Doing a little cleanup. It's been a while since we've been here. I do think zombies are potentially respawning in this area. I think it's been over a year since Rat7 left this place to go to Moldra. So there's, there's potential respawn happening. Uh, but go ahead and go to sleep. You can sleep as long as you like, Rat8. You deserve it. Not enough worms. Might as well... It Eat them. Covered in pine sap, ripping out clumps of hair to clean it off. Oh god. No. We'll let Rat 8 have a nice bath. That's one of the other perks of coming back here. Right. Dropping off. Cooking four, which I don't need. Already read it. Let me in, mental raven, welcome in. The game isn't about kills for me, it's about playing out the zombie apocalypse the way I would live it. Hey, I love that. I'm also trying to find my perfect sandbox options. This place is cool. This is my big base. This is like the biggest, most complete base. Rat 8 was here for a time. But it would just be too much work to move from... I thought about staying here. Why did we... How do we close that? I thought about staying here. But... It's such... It's still, like... it. This is still a long way to drive. It's, like, a long way to drive from here to here. And then as I've killed more and more zombies... Like... A drive home from killing zombies here... 
potentially like every day that would just eat eat so much time up like that's at least a two hour drive like a two hour in-game drive from there to there potentially four times a day if i'm doing my like workout thing so uh, a closer base a forward operation operating base was needed so now we only have to drive this far and then that's why we'll eventually leave this little gas station base and go build one in West Point. It's just taking time. But we, we enjoy coming back here. All the fruits of our labor, of all the rats' labor. Still needs a little polishing, but hopefully we'll get... All of our embellishments. Oh my gosh, pick up the stupid thing, please. Give me the backpack that I put in this car. Right, I'm keeping the branches. I'm leaving behind the twigs. Because I have plenty of fuel at my current base. You need a siege base to take LV. We're going to need multiple siege bases. But that's okay. I think I'm... It, I kind of like it. Rat 8... It fits for Rat 8's lore. He's, he's the keeper of the roads. Making little... Like, the way he first started out, like, starting from here, he's been base hopping so much. Based here for a while. Based here for a while. Based here for a while. Then he went back to the, the big base based here, and now he's starting off on another, like, micro base hopping journey. But it's kind of nice. So everywhere around the map i'm creating like little campsites little safe safish spaces with a little bit of supplies so that in the future other rats can use them i like it whenever i finish with this save file i'll definitely release it so that <laughs> You all can play on it if you want to load it, load it into your, your project zomboid. Right, it won't fit. That's fine. Open door. Oops. Close door. Clip on back. Put that spear in both of your hands. Let's go give you a bath at the pond. Enjoy it. This is good. Uh. Alright. Hello, zombies. <laughs> Where did you come from? I'm gonna take this time. Oh my gosh. Broccoli and cabbage. Thank you. You're just bringing me what I ordered, right? I'm gonna rip up all their clothes. Give me the XP. That's not bad. Five pieces of thread I'm happy with. Ooh, and let me dismantle your watch. Anyone else have watches? That wasn't too bad. I 
I did it. 250Z mob used a house to block sight and ran off. They didn't follow. Very nice. You can't have one base if you want to explore. I have several and just LV. Yeah. You... You need it. You need multiple bases. Tra I do like that. Travel takes a lot of time in Project Zomboid. Alright, I'll bring the car down there. This, this road is not a smooth driving experience, but... It's not the worst. Fishing base. Actually, I'm kind of surprised there's no one here. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised there's no one here at the fishing gazebo. At the end, you should lower the zombies into a pilgrimage to each death location and tell the story of each rat. I like that. Hopefully I won't have to lower the zombie count, though. Hopefully we'll... We'll just be on top of it. Killed all... <gasps> Alright, I see it. I see the teeny tiny tree that looks like a stick. I see it now. hiding behind the other tree. This is why we did, we dug the furrows because of shit like that. Let's go do our workout, and then we'll go dig more furrows, and we'll be super tired, and that's how we will re our, reset our sleep schedule. Because we went to bed at 4 a.m. and then didn't wake up on time. Rest, sit on ground, super fast, resting speed. Are hungry, I still have food for you. Go ahead, eat all of that. We're over a tenth of the way there. To fitness seven. Strength is getting very close. We'll, we'll definitely get a cart. We'll, I don't want to say definitely. 
I should get carpentry level nine once we go home and make all these into spears. Who knows if it'll actually happen. Oh, the other reason I'm doing this, so tree chopping, carpentry skill, making the road a better place, getting more branches for axes, and also I was out of worms, so... Might as well make my furrow spamming, my worm farming useful to society. And prevent future tree growth along this road. Like how digging furrows just removes the bushes. It would be so much worse if you had to chop every bush down or remove every bit of grass by hand before dig digging furrows. That's a blessing. Some dev, I bet we used to have to remove grass before we dug furrows. Some dev was like, no, this cannot be. Look, just like that, you're getting tired. Perfect. It's all coming together. As long as no zombies walk out of the woods right now. Zombies walk out of the woods. Very unhappy. <laughs> I'm currently basing in the LV Gigamart. Planted some veggies near the gas pumps. Feeling good. Did you get there early enough? Is Were you able to save any of the food? Or any of the fresh food, I guess. There's going to be lots of shelf-stable food there, even if you didn't get there before the power shut down. Definitely some trees that need to be removed on the side still. I don't know if I like the double line of furrows. It might be too much. I feel like paved paradise and I put up a par parking lot. But I got my worms. That's what's important. I can maybe fix that later. Looks like we won't made it to Louisville before the end of stream. Uh, no. Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it. 
I don't know if we'll make it to Louisville by the end of the week. But I will have axes now. I will be able to use axes again. Chipstone axes. And that's what I plan to bring out for the, our helicopter day. Yeah, I gotta get to West Point before that. Yeah. <laughs> Louisville is way far away. Especially what I think people consider, like, Louisville proper. That's a long time coming. Where am I going now? I'm going back to my gas station base. We're gonna go back to road clearing tomorrow. Well, after I make a bunch of spears, we'll go back to road clearing. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I shouldn't have hit it, though. <laughs> I shouldn't have hit the, go the zombie. This poor car. I just don't have the material to repair you right now. Once we get to West Point, there's going to be a bunch of backyards, a bunch of garages, a bunch of sheds. I'm sure I'll find more propane there. Lots of propane. And then I can get back to fixing up my cars. Well, if there's so many of you, follow, follow the car. Follow the car down the road and show up at my house and then I'll kill you. This has been a reliable truck for a while. It has been. It's not my daily, it's not the daily fighter car. But this is my long hauler. Oh, your poor trunk though. What did I do to you? 2%? Okay. Uh, I need screws. I have screws. Maybe I'll just do a screw screw job on you. Do a little screw repair. I'll waste one of my repair attempts on you. No need to rush. It's, I'm trying not to rush. I don't think anyone's accusing me of rushing to the West Point. <laughs> I'm just, this is my first time doing it, so. It's hard to just, like I have nothing to compare it to. Like I have comparing, uh, breaking into Rosewood, which was less than 10,000 zombies killed to get into Rosewood. But I also wasn't honking the horn there, so it's a little different. We weren't doing a thorough clear into Rosewood. Every every time I moved around in Rosewood, there were more zombies showing up. Alright, let's get the rat trap. And then I'm just going to ignore the bird traps until the morning. Let's put you to bed, Rat 8. Uh, I did not think you'd sleep until 12. Are you kidding me? This one trap made all that noise? Just this one? This, this tiny little thing made all that noise? I can't believe it. Alright, eat some food. Let's get 
some bait for the rat trap and bait. Let's bait our bird traps. Then I'm going to redo my rabbit traps. And then we'll go out and fight. But I actually have to work out before we do the rabbit traps, so. Let's do this. Drop, drop, and I have one more day before I have to start worrying about the helicopter showing up again. Very nice. Lightning speed. Go ahead and rest. Sit on the ground. Recover your endurance. Where on front? Where on back? I don't need these 38 worms anymore. What up, Snicky Pickleton? I have a good story about bird noises. Tell it. In Project Zomboid or IRL? Ready for harvest broccoli. Alright. I think the garden needs to be watered. But we can do that tonight. Let's go kill zombies for a little bit. tell it if you read it. <laughs> I make no promises. I make no commitments to reading aloud. But I'll do my best. I don't know how long it is. You're about to drop a 14 page novel on me. <laughs> and you're going to be angry. Streamer didn't read all my story. Streamer promised they would read my 14-page paper. Didn't read it. Time to cancel. <laughs> How are you over-encumbered? Seven spears? Seven spears is too much to handle. Alright, I just want to do a sweep because I feel like I heard paranoia. <laughs> well, read it if it's not an MLA format. Yeah, can you double space too? Make sure it's double space. Times New Roman font, please. That dirty bandage, I have a story. This is the only injury Rat Hate 8 has ever sustained. Uh, this happened after he got knocked down by a lunging zombie. Ooh. So this isn't even actual zombie damage. This is just a fall damage, technically. Trip and fall damage. But I'm, I'm trying to do that now. So I can remember every time a character gets injured. I'm just... I'm trying to replace it with a sterilized bandage. So that when... Okay. 
so that it's like free sterilized bandage storage on my person. <laughs> if I need a sterilized bandage, I can be like, oh. Let me just get back out of my car again. No, I can be like, oh, let me just pull it off of my arm. Or my hand or whatever. Extra, extra slots. You can have one on your neck. One on your head, right? You can have an upper arm and a hand injury. So that's six. I've never... I think you can have like a chest... A chest one, right? A chest injury. So that's one for the chest. So we're up to seven. The groin makes eight. And then I think... Can you be injured on your legs? I know you can, like, a zombie injury. I th Yeah, I think you can. So you can have a leg injury, and then you can have feet injuries. So, what, 11, 11 injury slots? That's 11 places that I could potentially be storing bonus, <laughs> bonus sterilized bandages. Your whole body is an inventory space just waiting to be unlocked. My longs lived vanilla apocalypse character, seven months, got the virus from a hand laceration yesterday. God damn. That's so sad. That's so sad. Anytime a scratch or a laceration gets you, it just feels bad. And that's why I say, uh, bite only. Bite only infection. Shins? So can you have an upper thigh wound? And then a lower shin wound? Honk? Not yet. I'm trying to get up higher. I'm trying to pull bigger chunks and not just like 10 zombies at a time. I just want to kill faster. Which means I'll kill a little bit less thoroughly, but I'm gonna- I'm, I'm gonna hope that the helicopter, when I bait the helicopter, That'll pull in any stragglers that I might have missed in the lower sections. That, that's kind of the, my, my clearing routine. I go ahead on foot, make sure I don't drive, I'm not driving into anything crazy. And then once I know I'm not gonna drive into anything crazy, I'll bring the car. And we'll start honking. And then I'll honk and scream in tandem. <laughs> and then once an area feels pretty clear, then I'll bait the helicopter in that area and we'll see how clear it really is. And then we repeat the cycle. Don't forget the prison purse. If only we had access. What would you store? Let's leave the car running. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick dash. I'm gonna shout. Hopefully, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Cheating. 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 I know I turned on the setting, but that's way too spooky. You can't rise from the dead literally right behind me while I'm fighting a bunch of zombies in front of me. God damn. If I had not caught her, that could have ended very badly. Spear break. Very nice. That was good timing. <laughs> They're forming a little fairy circle around the car. Do you want that hunting knife? I need a lot of hunting knives to do spears. Uh oh. I'm gonna lose them though. It's like over there ish. Can I remember that? <laughs> I see you, but come up here. To go back and rest. There are too many zombies near the car. Is 16x zombies a vanilla setting or from a mod? It is a vanilla setting. So here I'll I'll explain this. This is that won't be too hard. I just need to pull out my piano stool. Get this guy to come over here. Gosh, it'll be so nice when all of this <laughs> goes away. And then I can just fall back to the citrate sign. And we can rest. But I'm pretty sure if I'm over here, far enough away from the stink. I'll explain. I can't explain. I have to rest first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. oh I hated that. I hated that. That was close. That was close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't hold sprint when I got up. All right. Fuck. All right. Here's the sandbox settings. <laughs> Population. Um. Population multiplier. I think this is the base amount of zombies. So the higher this is, this just means the more zombies that'll be there day one at the base of the apocalypse. This is your apocalypse base. 
And then both of these are the same thing. They function the exact same way, start multiplier or peak population multiplier. And just a, the start multiplier just means you'll have 16x day one. Peak population multiplier means you'll have 16x on whatever day you set as peak population. So for me, I wanted to ease into 16x. I had 16x be basically an entire year. It took me to reach that point. Uh, but now we're year three, so we're here. And that's how you get 16x. It's four, four times four. And you can get above 16x, but that, I believe, you need a mod for. Alright. Take your, take your uh, thing. Oh, and then look at you. I have to not remove grass. Grab corpse. I have to ferry you away because you brought the flies over. Alright. Go die over here. Or go decay over here. <laughs> Finish your bird noise story. We're waiting. <laughs> you might find it easier to just walk through groups of zombies and use your scroll wheel in your inventory containers to scroll through the zombie bodies. I find knives that way. I do do that. But I'm. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I could find on these corpses. Look, more cabbage seed. It's just not safe. And then I'm staring at an inventory and I'm not looking around me. You, you know? <laughs> I do try to do that sometimes. Alright, I was not expecting that spear to break instantly. There's just never a safe time to look at these zombies inventory and then also if I'm u looking at the zombies inventory that means I'm building corpse sickness and I'm building corpse sickness not fighting zombies so unfortunately I'm probably letting a lot of goodish loot hit the ground any big weapons though I'm trying to pull out and I am also trying to check police Police officer and park ranger pockets. And construction worker pockets, because I know they all have nails and bullets. What my dreams are made of. Alright. This looks like a good haul. Let us begin. Sixteen X zombies, you can probably skip a lot of loot. That's also anything that's on these zombies, I can technically get again just by killing more zombies. That's the other thing. <laughs> but this road has given me what, two or three katanas so far? We got two katanas within like two minutes last stream. So the road does provide Welcome in Flex Tape 89. Can I join? Uh this is a solo this is solo. Sa solo sandbox flex tape. Not on a server. I'm sorry. One X to 16X is actually a really fun setting. How do you get 1x to 16x? Do you nerf your 
starting population multiplier and then you move up to 16x. All right, and I don't want to pass my bird or my rabbit trap. Although I don't think I have bait right now. We can go do that. We can run home and grab some potatoes to leave out here. It's too bad we can't turn these big lamps into battery-powered lamps. You think so? It's been a long time since you did it. I think you have to do it that way. Oh, it's either that or there's a mod that lets you go from 1x to 16x. That's the way I would think of- that's the only way I would think of it, how to do it in vanilla. You gotta- tweak the other population start. Ooh. Too close. Alright. Uh, what do I need? I need potatoes. I need potatoes for the rabbit traps because I need more rabbits because I'm down to my last six rabbits. Sometimes you have terrible rabbit luck. Oh my gosh. That is a big mouse. Ink red? Oh. What is this? Is this ink red? No. <laughs> ink re dib dibe? <laughs> ink redibel? Am I close? Oh, incredible. All right, I was getting closer. Red threw me off. I was like, I see red, I see ink. What's this other? What's this other I B H E L stuff? What's that? But I get it. Incredible. Incredible. Oh my gosh, another teeny tiny birds. I'm French? Okay, bonjour. Uh, you know what? Minus nine? Too small. Too small for my liking. Double digits. Birds that are double digits or more get actually added into meals. Alright, let's just go take this nice big chunk of frozen potatoes and we can leave that by our little... at our little trap area. Then I don't have to worry about... remembering to bring potatoes. I can say 100% that you didn't use mods to do 1x to 16x. I nearly always stay vanilla as possible with only only use mods for quality of life. My last character was a random start engineer. I wanted to make some elaborate traps but never got my skill up high enough for the remotes I needed.
never gone the engineer route. Engineer is an exciting career that I've never fully explored, but from what people say online, it's not really worth it. It's like a lot of effort for very little reward. And also, remotes, you are right, are one of the most difficult crafting materials to come by. If you ever see a remote, don't <laughs> don't break it. Don't destroy it. Don't dismantle that for some cheap XP. That's a precious resource. You plastered the walls. That's dedication. It looks good. You can't deny. It looks beautiful. I even painted those walls, okay? They're not just plastered. Some of them even have paint on them. I'm going to paint the interior as well. I just haven't decided on what kind of flooring I'm going to have in, in there. So. I'm not committing to a paint color yet. And also, who needs lamps when your flooring is white and your walls are white? You can see everything. I have one square of every floor. Oh, have one square of every floor you come across? No. No, that would be too much. I might do, what I might do one day is take over a little hotel and then have little custom curated rooms with little custom curated furniture sets for every hotel room. You know, just to stave off the boredom that the apocalypse brings. All right, I also need to water plants. Do I want to wait until tomorrow morning to water plants? I think so. Oh god, do I have to cook food too though? Am I out of food? All right, let's cook. F let's water plants. I'll cook food in the morning. Oh, no, I do. I still have food. Excellent. All right, now I really will water plants. And we can eat food in the morning. If I eat half of you, I'll be good. Save the other half for when we wake up. Okay, buckets. Tainted water. I shouldn't need a lot of water. Everything's mostly watered, but we'll do 15. That should bring everyone up and make them happy. And then also reset the last time they were watered timer. Oh my gosh, tomatoes, you need a lot of water. I love our little stop sign as our scarecrow. That's my f favorite addition to this little garden area. All right, and I want the broccoli to go seed bearing. All right, that wasn't too bad. And I still have some water left. I totally buy rugs if they made them official merch. Some of the rugs are not bad. I was thinking Indie Stone should... They should make backpacks. They should make the Spiffo backpack. And like the blue... Do I have one? Like the blue denim backpack. I think would... Like the one Spiffo wears...
you can see him in the the start icon if you've uh reinstalled your game There's like a little like a blue denim looking backpack in Project Zomboid. That would be so nice to have. All right, nine potatoes. Got some food, mushroom. I definitely need more frozen things. So let's get out some cabbage. Let's do cabbage and carrots. I don't need all of this out right now. Keep some of it in the freezer. Alright. It's a little bit early, but I can smell it. Dinner is ready, so I'm going to take my break now. Oh, nice yawn and a big stretch. Jeez. So I'm going to go. I'm going to take my 30-minute break, eat some food, touch some grass while I'm gone. Chat, you have a prediction. How many sticks? 30 minutes on the clock for this one. Uh, so far, it's been one stick. We've had a one stick streak. It, for anyone new, how many sticks is an easy game to play. This is what we'll do after I finish cooking. How many sticks will it take to light this fire? One, two, or three plus. Like I said, one sticks on a streak, even though Rat 8 doesn't have outdoorsmen. But it's any sticks game, honestly. Boom, it's happening now. What up? I'm back. Uh, sorry if that was loud and I blew out your eardrums. It was, it was a loud moment. I apologize. I apologize, but it felt, it felt good to be loud. <clears throat> Alright, but I'm here. I'm here. You posted, you posted the story, sleepwalk. Alright, I will read it. I will read it. But, um, let's start. Let me finish cooking first. <laughs> Let me finish cooking. Let's put all this in the oven. And then, uh, during the time where I stand around, I will read. I will read the tale. The tale of the bird. Uh, the pileated woodpecker. Is that what I... I caught at a glance? I've seen that bird. That's a very cool looking bird. Uh, but I had a good break. I hope you had a good break. I had uh, chicken and rice. An amazing, an amazing combo. I have been rejuvenated. Alright. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm running out of meat. Oh, also, I had to clean up cat vomit. One of my cats threw up. I'm a little bit concerned. It was very liquidy. It, it looked like she drank a lot. Like, I wonder if she drank a lot too fast. I think that's what it looks like, but I'm concerned that it might, you know, if it keeps happening, it might be something worse. 
Thankfully, she did not throw up on any kind of carpeting. God bless. God bless. <laughs> Whenever your animal is throwing up directly onto like your carpet or something, you would be like, you're like, oh, I can't, I can't do anything to, to move you in your time of pain and suffering, but God damn. Do I ever wish you were not throwing up right here? Oh, here are my birds. All right, we can just do heavy bird meat. I messed up and I don't have enough rabbit meat for this. All right, and then more cabbage and this one's done. Two more to go. We're doing two big pieces of bird meat. We'll do one potato, one carrot, two cabbage. Two bird, one carrot, two cabbage, I fed my chickens, I fed my chickens some mealworms, that's what you have a husband for, cooking? Ooh. He's pretty good at it. I will give him that. He's also uh, working on a bunny clips video for me. I'm very excited. I've seen previews. It looks very fun. You're going to enjoy it. My dog will throw up. My dog will do it just on the carpet, inches from the wood flooring. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, full X. I can recommend, ooh, I can recommend a good carpet cleaner. And I have cleaned a lot of pet vomit. So you know this is a real recommendation, okay? Full X. You can get it at like, yes, I have full X. Okay, then you have it. That's it. That's the one. Full X is amazing. It has say, full X got me my apartment, um, what is it called? Your the apartment like blood money <laughs> that they hold over your head and they're like, ah ah ah, make it clean or we don't give it give you back your money. Whatever, whatever that's called. Folix saved me. Security deposit. There no, I like blood money. <laughs> the blackmail money. The blackmail money into blackmailing you into doing a job that they should hire someone to do. <laughs> hey, all this goes away in the fridge. Yeah, Fullix saved me. And it saved just other rugs, not just like carpeting, just rugs in general. All right, chat, but here we go. Time to pay the piper. We've got almost a 20k channel point prediction over here. 71% one stick, hoping for three times in a row. Two stick coming in at 24%. Some faith and then 5% on three plus, hoping to sweep the pot. Let's see. It's been one and done all day. Will it be another case? Of the one sticks. Oh, don't hold your breath. Oh my goodness, not today. <laughs> we got a real stick break and woot fest coming in trying to jump scare chat. You trying to jump scare chat with that? <laughs> All right, will it be two stick though? 
24 versus 5 percent who's gonna be the winner look at all these negative moodles but they don't do too much damage can you hear it the sizzle that's two sticks that is two sticks thank you for playing it's all paid out All right, now, chat, you watch the food and you yell when it starts to burn, okay? I'm gonna, I put my glasses on for this sleepwalk, just so you know. <laughs> I've put my old lady reading glasses on for this one. All right, the much awaited, much anticipated bird story by sleepwalk. Oh my gosh, I, I, I will attempt, but Emel G Prio, <laughs> Emel G Prio, Emmy, Emil, Emil G. <laughs> Let's call you Emmy, E M E Emmy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Sorry, I massacred your name. All right, on to sleepwalks. About a year ago. When it was becoming springtime, I was up in the middle of the night, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. My house has a dugout basement with a door going outside. It is usually straight above the basement door. So it's a one-story house, technically, but with the basement. So in the back, it's almost like a two-story house. All right, I get it. Walk out basement. I'm familiar. I don't remember what I was doing when I was on my PC. Perhaps I was even playing this very game out of nowhere. And bear in mind, it was like two o'clock in the morning. I suddenly heard what I could only describe. Uh oh, I lost my place. Wait. As someone using some sort of heavy power tool on my basement door. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. It sounded to me like someone was operating a pneumatic drill or jackhammer on the side of my house or that door. A very metallic, automatic, mechanical sound. There was no way this made any sense other than someone was operating on my house. So I called the police. I let them know someone was breaking into my house through the basement. I couldn't quite actually see the basement, but it was happening. Fortunately, I live only a couple of blocks away from the police station. And so they were there within merely a few minutes. They showed up with flashlights at my door. I answered and the two of them plus me went around the house and investigated. We went around the house and got to the basement door. There was nothing. They looked at the door and saw no sign of attempted break-in. I told them I was sorry to call them out for nothing. I hate to waste their time. They said they did see a car take off when they showed up a bit past my backyard. But that was about it. Then that was it. And there was nothing of it for months. I was constantly upset about it in the back of my mind because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Who was after me? I had nightmares about it. What it could possibly be. Then about five or six months later, towards the end of the year, again, around 2 a.m., the heavy mechanical sound right outside my window. I bolt outside my door. I love how much braver you are. <laughs> You're like, I'm not fucking around this time. I'm going to catch you. I bolt outside my door in my underwear and I'm strapped ready to rock because I've been losing my mind for six months wondering what the fuck this is. Finally, my chance to learn the truth. I get across the yard down to the door and nothing. At this point, I'm losing my mind, much like Sam Neill 
from in the mouth of madness movie. I'm roving around <laughs> in my bushes looking for some sort of criminal or chupacabra. The funny part is that the only gun I had handy was my pry single action army clone before I bolted out of the door. So that was what I had and loaded. So I'm skulking around ready to go quick draw McGraw on someone or something. About 12 minutes pass and I'm still ninja rolling around in my underwear <laughs> and I'm about ready to give up on life. And then suddenly the noise right above my head. I look up. There it was. I could only describe as a gargantuan woodpecker banging on my gutter. Then it does it again right in front of me. I basically break down and the ultimate weight is finally off my shoulders. Finally, the mystery has been solved. Probably like 35% of the stress in my life had been lifted all of a sudden. That's beautiful. I love that bird story. These little fuckers bang on my metal chimney cover. <laughs> Did he machine gun the bird? I don't think any shots were fired. No shots were fired, right? That's what I got. So close yet so far. M M L G Pro. It's French. I see it. I see it. M L G Pro. God damn it! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Uh, for you keen listeners, you will have heard the fire go out. <laughs> so. Bonus for you. Two minutes. Two minutes. We're going to do another prediction. Normally, if I have to restart the fire, I'll just use a lighter. But because it was actually a really long time since we had our last prediction. Over 30 minutes IRL time. I'll give you another. All right, let's make salad. Maximize cooking time. No, the bird is my friend now and has a bird nest in my gutter with the bird family. Oh, God, it is a happy ending. You could make like a little move. You could make a movie out of that. Definitely like a little YouTube sketch. It's pretty cute. I love pileated woodpeckers. I used to have one in like my backyard growing up. They're very cool. But loud. Loud as fuck. Even when they're banging on uh, trees. <gasps> I don't always bet. But when I do, I don't lose. So I'm... An Aurora two wins in a night. So I'm only cursed if I announce it first. Good to know. You're figuring it out. What up, you a dinosaur? But yeah, Folix says saved my carpets. All right, I'm just waiting on you, chat. You got 30 seconds left, probably less by the time you hear the sound of my voice. It's already over. Time's advancing ever forward. Oh wait, I have a bunch of little bits. I could be making more salad right now. Ooh, and I should cook my lemongrass tea. I always forget. There we go. Cooking the lemongrass tea might make it more effective, potentially twice as effective as uncooked. It's just hard to measure. Well, 
Well, it's hard for me to measure because I just have to rely on the Moodles and they're uh, a little obscure. All right, here we go. 34%. Almost lit the fire with the wrong thing. Why? Oh, it needs fuel. Haha. -ha. All right, let's do scrap wood. Add fuel, scrap wood one. Add fuel, scrap wood one. Add fuel, scrap wood one. And you're like, why don't you add all? Because then I take all of the scrap wood out. Here we go. First stick. What's it going to be? Ooh, we have a little bit of a one usurp. There you go. One stick believers. Getting back what they just lost. Three, three plus stick believers. I'm so sorry. It has not been a kind three plus night. I was on my mp3 player last night and easy street came on and I realized you need an easy street reward. I don't know. I don't know that reference, do I? Uh oh, don't burn your book, your food. Gosh, how little did we have to cook? Look at that, 16.1k going out to the Scotsman 67 and five others. That's a nice little payout. All right. Have I? Do I need to make you work out? Is it time to work out? I think it is. And then we'll go do some killing. Ooh, today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow can be the first helicopter, I believe. So that's when I'll start listening to the radio again. All right, 60 minutes of squats, lightning speed. Go ahead and rest. I had never heard a woodpecker of any kind in my life until I moved to Missouri. I lived in Oregon until then and never heard one. That's wild. I would feel like Oregon would have would have birds. I hear you can hear the what like a woodpecker noise in Project Zomboid. I love the woodpecker noise. It fills me with joy and happiness. But that would be that would be terrifying because what else you I would not think if I heard metal banging. I, I would definitely think just like you. Someone's trying to break into my house with a jackhammer. I would not think, oh, that's a bird at 2 a.m. <laughs> that's a very confused, upset bird. I'd be like, no, someone's definitely trying to murder me. <laughs> Ooh, you're trying to hit those right when I go down out of shape. Thank you. At least you're keeping me on my toes. Making me nervous. Keeping me on guard. Hopefully if I don't get caught by a helicopter over here again, we won't have any more surprise visitors. 
Do I want to bring more spears? I definitely need to bring more spears. Into the car or into my backpack. And it's been two full days since we've been to our stinky road, so maybe it'll be a lot less stinky. Got to do a little pit stop by my rabbits. Looks like we had four catches. Uh, did I put bait on this one? I'll keep little potato nubs. Will you fit in the backpack without over encumbering me? You will not. Let's put some, let's put the rabbits in the glove box. Wow, they actually all fit. I'm impressed for a big glove box. I love birds, have about 15 bird houses around my property, and they're always full in the spring, plus they keep the bug population down. I wanna... I haven't had a bird feeder. I wanna get a bird feeder. I feel just, even for my cats to look at it and watch the birds that show up. Get some cat TV for them. I found six shotgun shells and a park ranger. The plague spreads. <laughs> now you have to check every... Po you can find whole boxes of shotgun shells. If, if you're really lucky, that's... Uh, that's big. That's You have your stick predictions. I have my park rangers and my shotgun shells. Gotta, gotta get them all. I bought a 2018 Ford once. It got lemon laud after 20 plus recalls. God, thank God the lemon law exists. But could you imagine if it only ever had 19 recalls? <laughs> well, it only had 19 recalls, so it, not a lemon law. It's not a lemon. That's a great car. Uh-oh, I'm missing stuff. Oh my gosh, hey, it's Ford Truck Month. I should have known it was Ginny. <laughs> hey, it's Ford Truck Month, and it's only time of the year they have incredible offers. Go to your local Ford dealer today. <laughs> I love truck commercials, all right? Truck commercials are so fucking funny to me. They don't even, like, show people in truck commercials. They just show the trucks. It's like they're trying to sell you on being a truck. Is that a standing zombie? Okay, no. That was just a dark patch of jeans. It's hard to tell when you're zoomed out. <laughs> the zombie camouflage on the corpse piles. Very real to me. But 
they keep having trucks like staring off into the sunset on cliffs and I don't know what that's about but that is some weird artistic directive that's happening like who what marketing exact is like yes put the cars on a cliff and have them stare off into the sunset <laughs> I kind of love it I, lo I love commercials I think they're so weird they're like, the way people try to sell you stuff is fascinating to me. Like, I get jingles. Jingles are a form of advertisement that makes so much sense to me. It's like, we want our product stuck in your head. But commercials aren't jingles anymore. They're just weird, odd, vague, meta jokes. So bizarre. I, I, kind, I love them. I hate when I get served the same one over and over again, though. Give me commercial variety. <laughs> it's so painful when you have to watch the same commercial 30 plus times. You're like, nah, I get it. I hate you. I hate you now. I will not buy your product out of spite because you've shown me your commercial too many times. All right, I'm going to kill you right... Sir. Sir, right by the car. Thank you. Dodged it. Dodged that spear break. Can't catch me. Okay, it's a that half full hunting knife. That's just a spear unlock tool. Oh my gosh, another hunting knife. Thank you. I do need to go home and make spears after this. Ooh, fresh air. Look at me. Okay, let's honk here. Let's honk here and see who shows up. We're kind of right at the edge of the kill pile. When the This is where, hopefully, I'll be able to bait the helicopter from. I'm very excited. The zombies we pull with the next helicopter, as long as I'm in place, should be... Actual West Point zombies. At least some of them should be West Point zombies. I love the commercials that don't have the product in it, just the name of it at the end. Yes. Like, any perfume commercial is... It, perfume commercials are a god-tier commercial. Perfume and cologne, those commercials... It's so funny. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna sell you some, we some weird visuals, and we hope you buy our perfume, because we, we showed you an actor, I don't know, wearing a cool outfit. <laughs> They're like, don't smell the perfume. Just look at this commercial and want to buy it because this actor says it smells okay. It's the chocolate commercials are another weirdly god tier commercial. Like, so abstract and bizarre. I'm not happy that I'm getting so many zombies from the side. That means... Uh, that means there's still like a lot of zombies just hanging out in the trees, even though I 
come here and I honk my horn and no zombies come and then all of a sudden so many tree zombies. How am I going to get back to my car? Get rid of this broken spear. Let's get another spear ready to go on our back. I have a decent amount of moonlight. We're only at corpse sickness one. I can definitely fight my way back to the car. So let's just do that. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, come one at a time. This is perfect. This is perfect, zombies. Just like this every time. So I don't have to move and I can just stand here and poke. Alright, I'll take your spiffo backpack. Dismantling watches right now. I got tempted when I saw the walkie talkie, and I figured it might as well. Might as well dismantle some watches. Why are you still over encumbered? Cannot have that. Give me your kitchen knife, because that's also great for making spears. Okay, that's, uh, that's not a small amount at the car. <laughs> that's not a non-worrisome amount. But I... Still only level one of corpse sickness. And I haven't used lemongrass yet. Just wanted to grab that backpack. Right, I guess a shout. We might be walking home. There's a big group up there. But the car is running, so if I get in, I should be able to get away. I really don't like... That you're over encumbered. Eat on the potato. Eat on the little bits. Eat the little bits. The little bits are gonna save your life. <laughs> little bits are gonna make you strong so you won't be over encumbered. So you won't get fatigued fighting. Right? That's what the little bits are gonna do for us today.
Uh, all right. Never mind. Little bits didn't save us. We're gonna have to come back for our car tomorrow. <laughs> Not with drowsy and exertion and level two corpse sickness. We'll just come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. They can stay there. It'll be fine. We've unloaded the cell that the car's in, so the car isn't going to waste any gas. It's easy. It's already dark. It was light when I went to just transform into my trash goblin form. What did I miss? Not too much. Just killing more zombies. I honked the horn and a lot more zombies came than I anticipated. <laughs> I don't know why I just don't anticipate more zombies, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> I always think it'll, it won't be that bad. I'm like, oh, I'll honk my horn. I'll be, I'll be really no loud and noisy on 16X. I'll do it right before it's evening. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, now we can sprint home though. True. All of the bunnies though are left in the car. No, there's some in my bag, right? No, I put them all. <laughs> I put them all in the, uh, probably a good call since we did get over encumbered. There's a cool mod for changing Moodle shapes per level kind of easier than seeing shades of pink. I have seen that mod. That's a very tempting one. It's also like, cause isn't red like a difficult color for colorblind people? To, like, di aren't different shades of red difficult for people who are colorblind to see? Like, they're not even contrasting colors. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that should just be like a base game thing. Like, part of our information is not accessible to a wide population. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Depends on the color blindness. That's true. It always depends. I'm red, green, color blind. True red, green colorblind, and then there's a blue yellow colorblind. That's a bit more rare. We made it. Yeah, I hope. I don't mind the Moodle system, but I do, it would be nice if they were, like, even if it would just say, like, level two or something. If there's just a little more information. Don't obscure, like, I'm trying to learn the game. Don't obscure, <laughs> obscure parts of it from me, please, Indie Stone. I want to learn. All right, you're a small rabbit, so you don't actually get put in the big freezer. You can stay here. Tiny little rabbit. Here, eat this little bit. Got lighters to put away, and then I'll make spears. Oh, I also have all these bags. Alright, equip secondary. Give me the comic book. This is what I think Indie Stone should make into merch. I feel like people would buy it. It's just a cool looking blue backpack. 
But those of us that know would know. Have you rest? I guess you can go to sleep, honestly. You can make more spears in the morning. Oh, do you want to eat food? Probably. You're probably very hungry. Go ahead and eat until you can't eat anymore. This is actually good. Three servings of food. You can see better in the dark though, when you're colorblind, more rods. So for me, red and brown mix together easy and dark blue and dark purple mix. Interesting. I'm sure I have... I don't think I have much color blindness. I've taken those... Man. I've taken those like online tests. I don't know if I have 100% color accuracy. But it's good enough for me. Alright. Fix your hair. It's 840. Oh, let's quick catch the uh, weather device options. Turn on. And then we're going to be heading out. Get some food for the road. All right, blackout. Yep. What do you got for me today, Abe's? Average temperature, 28 degrees. That's just a little bit below freezing. Clear skies. Okay. Tomorrow, still just a little bit below freezing. Clear skies. Do we have a helicopter activity? Also, it's Halloween. Friendly activity to set activity in tech sector eight but will we have air activity isn't looking like it all right wait a second Okay, I just I just got nervous. I thought I heard the helicopter for one brief second. I was like, what? What? But I think it was maybe just the way our feet sounded walking. Walking across the roof. Ready for harvest broccoli, but you're not seed bearing, right? You have one more stage to go. Yes, one more stage to go. I can't be an electrician. <gasps> no bomb defusal for you either.
What? Where I work, an executive had to leave the company and basically get canned due to being colorblind? That seems crazy. I feel like if they got to be an, an executive without any problems, why? <laughs> why was it a suddenly a problem? That sounds crazy. You were able to climb the corporate corporate ladder oh, while colorblind, but now that you're here at the top of corporate, you can't be here. <laughs> that seems fucked up. Yeah. I I mean, unless they lied about it and then he just got found out at like the very end, which is also kind of crazy. It's like, well, if you you got there, maybe it maybe that's a a rule that doesn't need to be a rule. Is that one of those rules that's just been a rule because it's been a rule for a long time? Photography company? <laughs> but, I mean, you can still create art. Maybe, maybe being, you know, maybe that was a strength. They really cared more about, like, proportion. Maybe it was a strength. As an exec, you're doing more paperwork than anything with color. Alright, uh, also, I'm running all the way back. Uh, because we left our car there. So I think I'm going to run and then when we, we hit the telephone wire overpass, which is probably going to come up soon, I'm going to stop running. Actually, also, let's take off your pants. Let's take off your pants, Rat. I see you're getting hot. There's no faster way to cool down than taking off your pants. All right, this is where I'm going to rest. All right. Now we'll just walk the rest of the way there. You followed me so far before you gave up. We're gonna have a weird stink pile down here. Tech, thank you for the four months. You are now 4% milk. And you got a re-up from Taya on your special sign. Your piece of this power smiley face. All right, I don't want to get all of you. Can just two, you two come over here? Senpais. 
Rose hips? Rose hips? Trying to lure them into this pile, and then I'm going to completely rip everything apart down here. We'll do a little tailor grind real quick. Dude, come over here. Just right over here. Thank you. Rose hips. Rose hips get some. That's what they want. Wait, and I don't want to do it this way either. That's some good thread. We get XP every time we get thread. When we tear up clothes, that's what you're looking for. And then the more... All right, any, uh, and then the more skilled you are, the more XP you get. What? A trailer park zombie, a beer, and a knife? You, how did you get so far out? I mean, unless, unless you are from West Point, you're a long way from Dixie, my friend. Uh, too many, why are you over encumbered? Too many ripped sheets. It's 86 ripped sheets. Too many. I could combine the thread. Let's combine the thread real quick. I'm getting very cold thanks to not having pants. We'll warm up. All right, still over encumbered. Let's get rid of the sheets. Get back to killing. Get back to warming up. the spear. Let's get another one ready for our backs. Oh, it's because I have all these knives on me. That's why I'm getting over encumbered. I forgot to get rid of the knives. <laughs> I bet the execs had mixed belts and black shoes in the board boardroom. Hey, it's okay. We live in a time where you can mix and match brown and black leather. Wait, that's bad? You have a bro that is mostly blind and has great hearing? That's cool. You definitely deserve a superpower if one of your senses gets taken away from you. That's why I lean into my migraines. Let me sense the weather. <laughs> it's my silver lining. I'm slightly better than just uh, sticking your hand outside and waiting for five minutes. All right. We've got to almost be at the car. Resisting running. 
Let's conserve my zombie fighting energy. That. I think those things are my spears. I don't think there's anything in that zombie. But it definitely looks like it for a second. No touching. Too close. Way too close. It'll be intriguing to see what these zombies have on them. I wonder if I'll get more beer can... Beer can knife zombies. That's not my alarm. Must be one of yours. It's not mine. Zombies, I said it's not mine. Check your own damn wristwatches, why don't you? Alright, I'm gonna try to stay close to her corpse. Thank you. Give me that hunting knife. Almost perfect condition. This is CDDA Bunny or Rat 8? This is Rat 8. This is Rat 8 on his way to um, West Point. Getting very close. Also, let's check in. Have you passed my PB? Oh my goodness. What is this? We are 18,888. Lots of eights for rat eight. Getting very close to my PB, which is held currently by rat seven. 19,537, I think, is the exact count. Rat 8, you are getting ever closer, my dear. I definitely need a new spear for the back. You're hungry. Go ahead, eat the rest of this food. be able to stay out here much longer. Let's see. I pulled in so much from the last horn honk. Will this horn honk be different? Or did I kill everyone? This is where I think I'll hang out for the helicopter event. I'll just drive up here when we get the air activity heads up. And I can stay up there where there's no corpse sickness. Or I can come back in here and do tailoring or destroy watches. Oh, crowbar zombie. Crowbar zombie by lamp. Crowbar zombie by lamp in bright green jacket. 
I won't forget you. Just a couple more coming in. Uh oh. Spear break. We got it. I could never forget you, bright green jacket spear zombie. Ooh, we got a lighter, piece of candy, antidepressants, real candy. Uh, there's the crowbar. I'll drop that on the road in a second. Anything else in this pile? Nope, okay. Let's do another shout. Why 14 frames per second over here? Video game. <laughs> Why all of a sudden 14 frames per second? What would the cause of that be? The white cowboy hat? I, I have a full cowboy hat collection. I love how bright the white cowboy hats look. They're not quite as bright placed. Stragglers, you know how I feel about you. Stop lollygagging when someone screams for your attention. Hurry and show up. Don't take your sweet time. Look at you. From all four different directions. You're not supposed to be smart enough to plot things like this. can imagine how bad this area smells. Think about the flies. Corpse sickness is rat just just rat eight accidentally eating too many flies. Uh oh, he's sick to his stomach because he's been catching flies all day. Now he needs to swallow some spiders to catch the flies. Uh-oh. Alright, I need to get out of here. Nausea? I mean, I guess it just changed to corpse sickness too, right? Let me just go walk up here. In the stink-free zone for a little bit. Nails? Nails, sir? Cigarettes? Oh my gosh, and nails! Very fucking nice. Can't swallow horses until build 48. They gotta work on it. Alright, I'm just gonna walk around. We're not gonna fight. I just wanna see what it's looking like. It's been a long time since we traveled on foot this way. You can tell there has been some killing done here. It's when I started having the helicopters that really set us back. Just clearing via the car horn is faster, just not as thorough. 
So that's when I involved, started involving the helicopters. But I want to... I may not clear as thoroughly. I probably won't clear as thoroughly with helicopters as we advance towards, like from West Point towards LV. I just wanted this section to be really clear. So if I have to fall back from either West Point or LV in the future, I at least know where I have like a safe, like a 100% safe or as close to safe as I can make it buffer area. And then I'll probably just keep having helicopters at whatever base location I pick in West Point and just keep thinning, thinning, you know, the zombies in nearby. And we'll use our car to clear towards uh, LV. Look at all my little prizes out here. I don't know, we're not running into any big groups. I'm not going to get my hopes up, though. I'm going to resist having hopes. And just endure. <laughs> endure the road. Endure the journey. Enjoy it for what it is. Because we only get to clear the road to West Point, like, one time. Let's go see our car. Let's go visit. Let's go play. Let's go say a prayer at Rat 5's death site. You shouldn't need to eat if you're eating all the flies. Plenty of protein and bugs. Can you eat flies? Are like flies one of the bugs that are okay to eat? I have never heard of people eating flies. Rat 5's place of death. I can't believe it was the windshield. Because this is the driver's side door, right? Also, this is uh the spear. Let's pick this up. That's the spear Rat 5 died holding. <gasps> A gift. A gift. Give me the bowls too. All right. <laughs> My little treasures. Hello. Hello, West Point. I'm just going to walk in. Is that okay? There's only like eight zombies behind me. Our pilgrimage is complete. All right. Those of you zombies who follow me all the way back to my car may enjoy the sweet release of death so keep up I'm not going to scream at you you've got to stay self-motivated <laughs> Fry flies are so dirty and literally eat poop so probably not that's what I was thinking I'm thinking maggots and project zomboid don't want to eat the flies that are either landing on or being birthed from the maggots. Or it's not birthed from, but you know, they come from. In real life, I think they are up there with cockroaches in terms of germs. Okay, so we can eat them. I died so stupidly in PZ was pushing a big horde of zombie into a fire and I walked too close to the fire and flames spawned on my tile. My arm got on fire and I panicked, making me take too long to heal the burn and put a bandage to stop from dying. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, Omega Squad. 
but that's a cooler death than what happened when I than when I burned to death. I've burned to death one, well, not in including CDDA runs, uh, by walking into my own fire while I was fishing, and then I ran to the river and was like, surely I'll be able to put myself out by right clicking on the river. No, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot. I think if you have, like, full water bottles on your character, you can put yourself out if you have full water bottles. But I've never tested that. I don't want to die. The zombies gave up. I haven't passed my car, right? It's just taking me a long time. No. Definitely haven't passed it. Alright, well I don't think I could eat a fly or a mosquito burger. Those sound terrifying to me. I don't think I could do it. Mikey360, thank you for the eight months. Hello, hello. God damn. Moving on up there. You're almost a Twitch baby. It's not mine. It's not mine, zombies. You take care of it. Maybe I'll take care of it. Right, who has a watch? Dismantle all three. That is not the watch, apparently. Who else has a watch? Oh, I got it. Uh, I mean, I've been standing here and fast forwarding time. No one's walked up. Let's do a little more tailoring. Uh, except we're looking for general. There we go. Just watching my corpse sickness to make sure it doesn't get bad. While I stand here and <laughs> destroy all these clothes. Alright, all done. Put all this in the backpack and then let's GTFO. Great job today, Red 8. Very nice. Killed lots of zombies. I'm just cruising. How am I auto ripping up the clothes? Uh, so that's crafting menu. I'll show it off. I'll show it off when I, I can't do it in the car. At least I don't think I can do it in the car. No, I can actually. All right. Ooh, but can I do it and drive at the same time? So I'm using the crafting menu. It should be in my favorites. Yeah. Crafting menu, rip clothes. This pulls from all the zombies around you. So I think it pulls from all the zombies around you in like a your tile and then a 0.5 tile radius or something like that. So if you have like a very condensed pile of zombies, this is great for just super ripping up clothes. It's dangerous though, cause look how much screen it takes up. So use it, use it with caution. There's a mod, I think it's called Don't Just Stand In There that gives you the stop, drop and roll option. Oh my god, we need it. 90s kids know how to stop, drop, and roll. Alright, if there's one thing they taught us... Well, I guess... I guess our characters aren't 90s kids. They're like 70s or 80s kids.
Can you rip clothes from a car with an open window? I don't know. You could test it. Potentially. Possibly. It would be interesting. Alright, let's go unload some shit. I've got a very full inventory. And now I can't even retrieve my big hiking bag because he burned into a crisp. Um, whatever weapon you are holding, Omega Squad, uh, that'll be on the ground. So if you're holding a cool weapon, you'll get your weapon back. That should drop to the ground, right? When you die. At least you're not a corpse forced to wander this world forever. At least your death was final. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm helping you look for silver linings. There aren't many. I will admit a fire death is a very brutal way to go. Like, especially loot wise, like you really do. You lose a lot when you burn, burn alive. And who knows what that fire is doing. <laughs> who knows what the, where that fire is spreading to now as well. I'm so excited we got that beer can. Just... I feel like that's a good sign. <laughs> the beer can is a good sign. Sign of good things to come. We got back. An axe. Let's leave that by our good friend, David. Here, you can put your pants back on. Got more bulls. That way I can leave some bulls here and take more bulls onward to our next base. Alright, and I have just a couple things that are going to go downstairs. And then Rat 8 needs to go to bed. Also, the dirty rags are great for crafting more axes. Everything else looks good. I'm gonna load up on some more spears in case I get a really early helicopter. I'm just fully prepared now. And then you gotta eat. Consolidate some thread and go to bed. I'm gonna set... What time is this set to? 7.50? Perfect. That's when I want you to wake up. The G.I. Joe cartoon had a knowing is half the battle about rolling yourself into a blanket if you're on fire. Am 
My fave is the Cold War kids hide under your desk when the nuke goes off. You'll be fine. You will be fine. Desks will protect you. God damn it, desks. The drills are always so much fun as a kid, though. You're like, anything to break up the monotony of the school day. Wait, wait. Device options. Turn on. Today, average temperature a little bit below freezing. Clear skies. Tomorrow, a little bit above freezing, clear skies. Do we have helicopter day today? Oh, also, happy Halloween, Rat8. It passed so quick. Nope. Looks like no helicopter today. All right, then we're going to have a little bit of a late day. Late start day. Because you have some home chores to do. One of these. Get that seed-bearing broccoli. I'm going to grow... Uh, be switching back to cabbages. This is probably going to be... One of our last harvests, because anything that is not ready to harvest at the end of November is dead. We don't get to harvest it in December. The frost comes. Or at least that's what I'm doing for myself. I'm not allowing any planting during December, January, or February. After no the end of November, March 1st the next time we can grow crops. Go ahead, eat half. I'm gonna have you make some spears. Ooh, we got a rat. That fire had been spreading since the beginning, the one you died in? I might have started a fire on a house in Riverwood. It has returned. It returned to kill you. The fire of your that you made by yourself ended up claiming your life. And that's why fire is so fucking scary in Project Zomboid. When fire can be put out by rain, it'll be a lot less scary. But until then, fire is way too deadly of a weapon. Alright. Unfavorite, I'm dropping you over here. I'm gonna get a bunch of the almost broken knives. And then we're gonna make... some more spears and we're gonna see how much XP we get out of all of this <laughs> this is the other reason why I'm leveling up spears just so I can farm carpentry XP Here we go. Saw all 32. Lightning speed. Got a gorgeous little pile. Now, 
turn 96 planks the spears. Oh my gosh, we can use a meat cleaver to make spears. Well, I'll be... Let's go throw these... Knives away. Oh, I should have checked XP. All right, we are 5,400. Let's get back to it. Five thousand eight hundred. I'm gonna have you work out though. So up up the roof you go. I finally got mechanic six and then I had to hunt down the next books. Uh mechanics three and five, yep. No four. Loot, loot always gets you killed in Project Zomboid. It's almost always you're dying for loot. You're in some place you don't have to be. On a long-term character, you're dying because you died for loot in some place you didn't need, need loot from. <laughs> That's how it goes a lot. Like, I could have just been happy, but instead, I wanted to skill. Go to set off... Gotta set off a bookstore alarm, too. It was great. Oh my god, that is cursed. Bookstore alarm? That's like one of the worst alarms. I know Rat 7 killed way more zombies, but my girl Rat 6 always hit that one stick when I needed it. Rip. Uh. I mean, Rat 6... For time lived, Rat6 is one of the best uh, kill counts. Because she didn't live very long. She even beat Rat8. Like, I was kind of racing to see if I would break Rat6's kill count in the amount of time. Uh, like, that they lived. He did not. Rat6 killed more zombies for the amount, amount of time that she lived. She, she was... But she had the... <laughs> she had the curse and the blessing of uh, being in one of the most densely zombie-packed areas. So the zombies came freely. Rat 8 had a lot of free zombies, though, but he had a much harder time getting food and water than Rat 6 did. So he had to spend a lot of his time trying to get the necessities. We spent a lot of time just like foraging on Rat 8, hoping for chip stones to make axes with. And then even just like going out of our way to try to get water as well. <laughs> we, we. We drank from like every, we drained every sink. I even wrote them down so that I wouldn't get a future character killed because. Where is it? I always forget where Rosewood is because we didn't go super far in. Like all of these houses have no water. Only the little base that we kept, I think, has a little bit of water. I've put out pots and this place has full rain barrels. But Rosewood is a dangerous... Northern Rosewood has been... is a dangerous area if we can't get back into a base... into the base location. Alright, back to grinding away at these spears.
All right, now I'll go dump some more knives. Look at all the knives. This is why I'm always, always trying to grab, grab the hunting, hunting, cooking, or hunting, kitchen, and I guess now meat cleavers. I had no idea. Normally I never waste a meat cleaver, but I guess even if they're low condition. Uh, I guess even if they're low condition, I can use them to create spears. All right, uh, there we go. Gosh, I'm so close. Oh, am I out of knife? No, I still have a knife. It's too full. All right, but how close are we? 6,987 out of... 7,500. All right. I'm almost there. A couple more logging trips. And honestly, I just need to gather them up because we already did the chopping. Oh my gosh. I thought I still had rabbits in here. <laughs> Oops. You know, when you go, when you stand on top of piles of corpses long enough, like Rat 8, you go nose blind. And you forget the decaying rabbits in your glove compartment because it actually just smells so much better than what you're used to. Oh, I should make axes too. I don't know if I get carpentry XP from crafting axes. 79, 76. I kind of want... I mean, I guess... No, I want bigger rabbits. Bigger rabbits go into long-term storage. You all can go into everyday use storage. Let's bait these traps. That way if we have a helicopter tomorrow, we'll be good to go. Oh, and I gotta cook you some food. That's the other thing we have to do today. The other reason why today is a home day. Nothing in here's ready for harvest. I watered it a day or two ago, so I'm not concerned about that. Time to cook some dinner. Give me the cabbage, the rabbit, the carrots, tomato, bird meat, and I guess the potato. Need anything else? Jump out, kill two, get winded, struggle back to car, floor it. Being overweight kept my character near near her car a lot.
I need to butcher the rabbit. That's what's going on. Oh, and I will start the prediction for you, chat. How many sticks? Five minutes on the clock. Uh, things you need to know. Ratty doesn't have outdoorsmen. That being said, one stick is still pretty common. We've had mainly one sticks all day, except for a little bit earlier. We had a two stick upset. That's the breakdown for today's stream. All right, teeny tiny bird, not for me. Minus eight bird, uh-uh. Then we're gonna do cabbage, tomato, carrot. Two pieces of rabbit, one piece small bird, and then one of each veg. Why do I have all these, like, minus five pieces of cabbage? What's going on with that? I got shanked by a tree one time. That one wound was it. Just too many in every direction. Bled out, hobbling away. I guess technically the zombies didn't get me. It looks full, just like my maintenance needing approximately 300 XP to hit 10, and my sprinting needing approximately 200 XP to hit 9 full gray bubbles. We're almost there. It's fine. I have to enjoy this, because if everything goes well, if everything goes well on Rat 8, I'll one day, one day will be my last level up, and then I'll never get to level up again. And then what do I do? What do I do when I can do anything? What do I do in Project Zomboid when I no longer have to level or grind in any way and I can just fully work towards my own goals in the sandbox? Will I go mad? Will I go crazy? <laughs> Will I big build the biggest road of all time? Probably. I used to be normal, and then I started building the road. Cabbage, carrot, I think I'm out of tomato, right? Yeah. So, here you go. Nice piece of potato. Got a couple little bits. Put everything else back in the fridge. Gosh, so many tiny little potato bits too. All right, you've got a minute left, chat. If you want to get your votes in, your predictions, now is the time. Here you go, compost. Oh my gosh, I have 34 worms in the compost. I had no idea. Grab some more seed-bearing broccoli. 
Why'd I come up here? Oh wait, the worms. That's why I came up here. Oh my gosh, I have eight knives on me. Uh, let's go put some of those away. I'm like, why am I still so over encumbered? What, what could it possibly be? Couldn't be these eight knives. I'm chilling in my inventory. wood plank now is the time guns for show knives for a pro it'll be interesting when we start leveling up the different the different weapon types after spear and then long blade Ooh, and did you hear it that's not one stick Will it be two? Two's come up once already. Oh, ooh, it's gonna be two. No luck for the three plus believers. Here you go, two sticks. Redeemed. Wait, wait, wait. You will be the prime rat. You become Master Splinter and go find some turtles. That road would make the ancient Roman, Emperor, Roman Empire proud. I hope so. I do think about them a lot when I build my roads. the compost. Maybe I should have chopped up all that meat into the salad. I keep thinking that would be good cooking XP. But then again, I'm so close. So maybe I don't care. Look at that, 45.2k going out to Sekraz and five others. Sergeant J, you got it. Rat 8 coming in clutch for you. Any other two stick believers? Losing that jump scare money left and right. That's okay. I'm okay with not being jump scared. <laughs> That's all right. No need for me to panic. I put out fire and you definitely want to eat. So eat, start eating. Eat at least until you don't have a down arrow. There we go. I'll just leave these in here. 
Go ahead, fill up your bottle. Let's just turn this on. So it'll be on when I wake up. I can still pet that dog, even if he's sleeping. Oh my gosh, you're going to bed late, but you're waking up well before... Your alarm goes off. All right. Then I'm going to take this opportunity to crank the desk down because I did do some standing today. Just a little bit at the end. Who I know maggots do. Maggots can kill you in Project Zomboid. I think they have like uh, a 25% chance to give you corpse sickness. They can be very dangerous. All right, we got clear skies today. Tomorrow, a little bit above freezing, also with clear skies once again. No helicopter? You're going to keep me waiting? This is only day two. All right, that's it. It's not coming today. Turn it off. Go ahead. Get some food ready to go with you. Have a cigarette. Oh, I need, you need a smoking, an incendiary device. Any more of these? Yeah, let's keep using up these. Almost empty lighters. Boorish toaster. Thank you for the two months. <laughs> One step closer to a zombie petting zoon. You really want it, Boorish toaster. A zombie in the zombie petting zoo. If we find a cool zombie worthy of being in a zoo. In your honor. <laughs> But they have to be a cool zombie, all right? Worm was with us for a long time. And then we we let her come into the zoo. It's not just any random zombie. Gets to be kept. I have too many games. It is a real problem. Stardew Valley, the update just dropped. Who's playing it? Who's playing the Stardew Valley update? I was on a Dragon's Dogma grind playing. Trying to replay through Dragon's Dogma 1 in time for Dragon's Dogma 2 to come out. Uh, only to realize I don't think I can play Dragon's Dogma 2 on my computer. I don't think it's optimized well. Definitely not for my lower end PC. But am I out of bait? Yeah. Let's get one more potato. Alright, I'll leave you behind. I've got the two uh, nubs heading out on the road. Birds digest the virus safely then, or birds aren't real. I like to, th maybe, I think, th I like to think that the, the infection just can't spread to animals. It's like a human only infection. So yeah, the birds, the birds destroy the maggot, the, the virus inside of them. That way, if they ever give us pet dogs. Okay, the naked corpse pile just, it does look a little weird. I'm not, I'm not unaware of that. <laughs> Ooh, look at all you zombies out and about. Ooh, 
Ooh, had that moment with Shadow of Mordor on my old laptop. Had to wait two years to play it. <laughs> oh god. I'm still waiting to play Cyberpunk on my computer. <laughs> I just need to upgrade. It's just time. Like I said, I haven't had like a real computer upgrade since before COVID. And hopefully I won't have to do a full upgrade. I think I just need like a new processor and then a new motherboard and hopefully that won't break anything else. And Maybe some more hard drives. <laughs> Maybe some more storage. But after that, I can probably wait another two or three years on a graphics card. Why do you wait until I get in my car and I'm about to drive off to show up? I think that's very rude. Get my fill of horrific monstrosities in CDA. I don't need them in Zomboid. I played through Cyberpunk last week to the point where you get the bio trip. That is the first quest. And now my hard drive is completely dead. Oh no, swallowed sigilism. <laughs> oh. See, that's also, I can't break my computer by trying to run a game that it cannot run. Then there is no stream, potentially for a long time. It's just a sea, a sea of corpses. <gasps> There's that woodpecker. What am I rocking now? I don't know. That information never sticks. I don't normally build my computer. My <laughs> my husband is in tech. He builds the computer. Most of my computer is hand-me-down pieces, which I'm more than happy with. But now I need to buy some new pieces. And I honked the horn, so let's see who shows up. But once again, I'm at the end of my killing line. I think I'll turn you back on, Car. Just in case I need to quickly get out of town. I'm just going to keep having zombies and we're just going to keep honking our horn here. I'm not going to go any further because I'll rely on the helicopter event for that. I just want this area to be very clear of zombies. Oh, did not like that instant kill lock animation lock with zombies at the north and south of me. That felt spooky. That felt like a death. Mm. 
They blend in. They blend into the corpse pile. It's so... Hard to see them sometimes. I played Cyberpunk 2020 back when it was on paper with dice and real players. You had to read stuff and imagine things. Being with real people was better. People are funny. We would draw our characters with pencil. I miss the knights playing D&D &D and sipping at Sambuca. Get a group of adventurers buzzed to see what's happened. I, I have great memories playing... Tabletop games. I tried. I tried when I moved to when I moved to Michigan to find a group of people to play tabletop games with. It did. It did not go well. It didn't go terrible. It was basically just like a non-starter. But after that attempt, I just stopped. And now there's just no time. But maybe eventually there'll be time. And if there's no time to play, and I do get the urge, I'm so glad that we... that there are games you can watch now. Lots of double kills there. I want that nightstick, but... I don't know if I'll remember where it was. All right, we need another spear on the back. I'll just try to quick take a peek. No, it's gone. It's gone. It's fine. It's just one nightstick. I just play tabletop RPGs with my wife. Since we have no friends, one-on-one -on -one campaigns are awesome. I might have to try that. I used to run a campaign. The trick is to jump right in once everyone breaks out the books. I ran, I ran, I run one game and play infrequently in two others. Scheduling is the end boss for tabletop RPGs. Yeah. It's like, how do you get multiple adults all together with enough energy to hang out? And think and do math. It's like, hey, are you ready to get together and do some fucking math? Let's fucking go. <laughs> I love doing math. I can't wait to get up, get together and do some math with people. <laughs> or just talking. Maybe it's just talking. 
But you still gotta roll. Workout. Hopefully that horn honk will have pulled in some zombies for us to kill. We can get back to it. Let's check in with Rat 8's kill count. Ooh, 19,007. Looking real good, Rat 8. You are 531 kills away from my new personal best in Project Zomboid. My highest kill count ever on a single character could be yours. You could be getting one of the titles, stealing it away from Rat 7. The deadliest rat could be yours. How's the generator doing? Fuel 37, condition 82. I guess I'll fix you now. Ooh, hitting me with the jump scares. It's been good though. We haven't had a single zombie show up at the base. Starting to feel too safe. Add fuel. Turn it back on. Wait. Did I disconnect you? Turn on. Oh my god! Alright. Walk talk Stephen Hawk. You have been proved correct. <laughs> you have been proved correct. Thank you for the jump scare. Apparently, I do need it. I can't feel too cozy. Sir? Can you step away? <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? Can you step away, sir? <laughs> As is tradition. Ooh, thank you for the cigarettes. <gasps> he worked here. He was just trying to get into work. What a dedicated employee. Too dedicated. Jeez, you're a zombie. When Rat Aid falls, he will make a fearsome inner in enemy. Maybe, unless he actually falls. In which case, he'll just be a pancake. A little rat pancake, much like bunny pancake. Another rabbit. All right, I hear the birds. I hear you. I'm gonna go upstairs. I will f take you. And then uh, rat's gonna work out. Thank you. Drop that. Go over here to exercise squats. 60 minutes. Let's go. Fitness is 8,160 out of 60,000. Not too bad. You're more than a tenth of the way there. Right, equip on back. Go ahead, rest. Sit on the ground. Aggressively loud traps. 
It's amazing more zombies don't show up at our base from all of the super loud traps. It's like a siren screaming out. There's food here. Lots of tasty food. Wait. You're too small to cook with. Actually, do I have any big birds worth freezing? You are big enough to be frozen. Same thing with you. Everything else is too small. up your water bottle. Make sure there are no zombies near exit route. And now back to Stink Highway. That zomboy just missed your sheet rope, too. I do have an internal sheet rope. If all of my external sheet ropes break. But yeah, I'm so glad we dodged it. And I didn't have to waste a nail. Use the little naked pile of zombies. Alright. That's your fault. I gotta move you. The corpse is gonna bother me. Like, remember how thick this use this place used to be with corpses, and now look at the decay. Uh, I thought I listened to the radio and it wasn't going to be a helicopter today. Did I not? All right. Well, the perfect timing for once, Heli, you and I have very good, very good synergy. It feels like I'm not quite where I wanted to be. I'm gonna leave the car back here. Let's see. Let's go fight in our helicopter. I had a feeling one would show up. It's only because I didn't check the helicopter. Need to make a sheet rope airlock? No. I like being able to look out. I like where my sheet rope is. I can look out and I can see if it's clear for three si for three tiles on each side. Or if it's not clear, I'll just uh, use my internal one. Or vault over my fence. Or run off my roof. Because that's also a good option on one story. Alright. So far, no zombies are approaching from the south. Which is always the goal. 
So as I slay zombies and push north... Hopefully everything will be good. Twins, you have the same outfit and hairstyle. How long have you been together? Did you wear matching outfits so that everyone would know you're twins? I listened to you early? Damn it. Tink is a highway I want to ride all night. In Project Zomboid, you can make your dreams a reality. No touching. Definitely still too many in this area. The helicopter pulls them in from everywhere. Even in areas that should be clear. Alright, I hope that shout wasn't too aggressive, but there are just so many standing around doing nothing and not paying any attention to me. I, I felt like shouting at them. Welcome in, C-P-R, I'm, thank you for the follow. Alright. <laughs> Watching the, the bodies pop out is kind of... It is a little satisfying as I murder zombies, watching the other corpses disappear. What is this? Alright, it is a bread knife. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here and try to lose some exertion. While I wait for the zombies to close in on me. This is so many back here. A helicopter. What are you doing? This is supposed to be my clear area. This is supposed to be the area of cleared of zombies. What are you telling me? Are you telling me there's way more zombies back here? Jesus Christ. How come none of these ever come out when I drive my car or honk my horn? God damn. God damn. <laughs> no. This is so far back. This is not the direction we want to be going. 
How many months have we been here? How many months have we been here? There's still zombies out here. There's still zombies all the way back here. I, uh, I, I just don't understand 16x. I can't get my brain wrapped around how many zombies there are. 10,000 zombies. Over 10,000 zombies have been slain by me, by this character, in this area. <laughs> how are there more zombies? All right, at least, at least, god damn it. <laughs> All right, we're not getting our car back. That's not going to happen. Uh, am I about to walk a huge horde to my base? Hello? Gather around, zombies. I don't know how this happened. There's been a helicopter here before. I know we got here at around, uh, 1700. So that's a five o'clock helicopter. The longest this will go is nine up- is until nine. Now all of China knows we're here. Mulan! Mushu! Come save me! I need help. I need help. Mulan, Mushu, assist me. Alright, I'm not taking you all the way to the base. Welcome to the telephone poles. The telephone wires. Uh, this will be your temporary home until I murder you all. Uh, please get used to it. You've got, uh, not a lot of tree growth right here, surprisingly. Surprisingly, even three years into the apocalypse, not too much damage. And I chose to go uh, west instead of east because east leads into uh, like a technically a newish cell. Whereas west, this is all the same cell that includes the road. So hopefully I won't be disturbing too many other zombies in this area. We're, we're gonna try to keep it all in the cell. The aim will let me smoke. Anyone see that before? Do you have a lighter in your main inventory? As well as your match in your main inventory? Oh my gosh. This whole group got stun locked down here. Alright, any minute now should be the last minute of this helicopter. Good fucking god. How did this happen? How did all of you happen? What does 10,000 zombies killed on this road mean? Does it mean nothing? <laughs> I guess it does. It's just a drop in the bucket of 16x. I guess I can really complain after I've killed my first 100k. Alright, let's keep gathering. They're a little spread out. By just walking and not sprinting at all, I have recovered... ...my fitness, or my... ...my exhaustion, so I'll... Ready to do a little sprint. I'm ready to do a little run, but it's dark and the night is full of terrors. Alright, let's go now. Let's go now. Oh my god, oh my god. Not there, not there, not there. Where the fuck am I going? How do I get through these guys? There's so fucking many of them. No, 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 no. This is insane. This is insane. I've been having helicopters in this area for months. 
for literal months and they've never been this bad. And I have cleared the area. I have kept fighting zombies here. How? How are there so many of you? How? 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 I don't understand. I don't believe this is all a lie. This is just a bad dream. This is just a bad dream. <laughs> Why are there so many on the road? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? What happened? What did I do? I did something bad. Something bad happened. What is this? Oh my god, Rat 8! What the fuck, Rat 8? What the fuck? How am I gonna get you out of this? How? 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 We're just running. We're just sprinting. Fuck this. Fuck all of you. I'm going. I'm juicing. I'm boosted. I'm fucking boosting out of here. Good god damn it. There's gonna be a light. There's gonna be a light right here. Oh my gosh, this is the end. Okay, no more running. No more running. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. What is that? What was that? Oh, how many zombies is that? These are where my... This is where my rabbits are. Oh my gosh. We may not be able to fall back to my motherfucking base. All right, this way. Let's let's try to trick them. Uh, which way do I want to go? I'm gonna go this way. Zombies, you think you think going over here is the best thing in the world? You think going over here is super great? You want to be over here, zombies, behind this building, right over here, behind Spiffos. Spiffos is my protector. Uh, here. <laughs> We're so sneaky. We're so sneaky. I'm gonna turn off my goddamn generator. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck you, generator. Turn off. The yearly respawn? It has not been a year. It has not been a year. We have not been alive for a, a year. I think... I don't know. I think that must have just been migration from the cells that I've previously cleared. So if we look at the internet map, let's pause. If we look at the internet map, this is my theory. These cells, specifically these cells, I think migrate, migration moved zombies over. And they did it for all the other cells. So does that mean I should start helicopters and just move this way? God, I think that's what I should do. I should start helicopters from like here. And then move this way. And then just stay there until zombies stop showing up. Good lord. <laughs> that's a fuck ton of zombies. That's... So the danger, the danger is now like here, 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 all up in here. We just have, what, what do you think that is chat? 300, <laughs> 400, 400 zombies. Good call on turning the generator off. I've learned. I've learned some lessons. <laughs> well, that ends the stream for the night. No, I fucking made it through. That's pro. Pro level gameplay. Pro level running away. I look away for five minutes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes bad things happen. Uh, respawn set to 10%. So every year, 0.1, so 10% of the zombies respawn that I've killed. <laughs> rat 9, rat 9, rat 9. If you got close... 
to that off ramp, there were probably like close to 5k, 20k Zeds all trying to, to spread out. If it wasn't migration, doesn't cross cell lines. No. So I know, I think my, I'm thinking migration near where I already killed was loud and kills zombies caused, um, I think they migrated close to the cell border, which might have been empty. Because there's like a cell here, and then there's like a cell right around here. Basically, this the side up. So two squares over from the road, there's a cell. And I, my theory was, but I was getting zombies, it felt like from both sides. So I don't know, that helicopter really did me dirty we were like over here and then i just got swarmed by zombies even when i was falling back just so many zombies were showing up so i i'm confused i don't know i was not expecting that but we didn't die how we did not die i didn't even shoulder tap a zombie i don't think that was a clean getaway not even a shoulder tap Will they migrate uh, back to their original cell or stay on the road? No, zombies will not migrate back. So migration, it sounds like it should do that. Migration is just a term that is in the game that means cell balancing. So when one side of a cell has a lot of zombies in it, the game will say, hey, go migrate to the other side of the cell or the side of the cell that doesn't have a lot of zombies. That's what zombie migration means. It's not shifting zombies out of a cell. It's balancing the zombie distri distribution within a cell. What pulls zombies from one cell to another is either a loud noise caused by you, the player, or a meta event like a scream or a gun blast or the helicopter. So I, I just, I guess the helicopter just fucked me. <laughs> uh, did anyone come out? Is anyone like near? I'm hiding. I'm crouching. I don't see anyone on the road. So I guess they didn't follow me to the house. They could have followed to the Spiffo's trail. Go ahead and harvest some carrots. Ooh. All right, we are gonna use that spear pile tomorrow. We're going to use the shit out of that spear pile tomorrow. Uh, all my produce, you better not rot. Who's knocking on my door after the night I've had? You're going to knock on my door at 1 a.m.? Try to get me to go outside and check. Alright, go ahead, eat half of your food. Go ahead, sleep. Personally, I'd rest ASAP in case your sleep gets interrupted. That's probably a good call. But I'm always micromanaging my inventory. All right, do I want to carry food on you? I do. At least a little bit. Go ahead, have your cigarette. I don't know why sometimes it lets you smoke directly from a fanny pack and then sometimes it'll take the cigarette out of your fanny pack and just leave it in your main inventory. It might be when taking the cigarette out of your fanny pack puts you um puts you at overweight. Like, if you're really close to being overweight, like I am constantly, I'm at 14.14 out of 15 encumbrance. That might be the issue you're running into. That happens to me a lot. You're just 
doing all the jump scares. I think I'm going to turn the generator on since I'm not at the base. And if there are zombies, it might bundle them up so I can kill them. We have plenty of easy to grab weaponry. Let's let's go start with spiffos. Start there first. <laughs> See if anyone any zombies actually followed my bait and are chilling back here. Cause this is where I will I will want to kill them so I can keep the stink on this side of the road away from my base. So that when I leave the stinky road, I don't return to my base, which is also covered in stink. How long did it take you to decorate this place? Gathering the plaster and paint must have been a drag. Not too bad. Um, so this is Rat 8. I've had a couple other, seven other characters on this map. Um... A couple other characters made a base here, and then I've completely organized the mass Jinfac uh, warehouse that's right here, and most of the paint and plaster came from there. So it was just collecting materials I had already gathered. So it wasn't too bad. And that, that warehouse is a great place. All right, so none of the zombies actually came in too far. Oh, before I forget it, you survived another goddamn heli, Rat 8. Oh, barely. Barely. That's like the spiciest helicopter I've had in so long. Oh my gosh. All right, you are one more heli away from being 25. Helicopters survived. How deep is this run? We are into the year 1996. All two months away from 1997. <laughs> Brightside, you don't have to commute so far for the killing. Oh, yeah. Love that for me. Zombies right on my doorstep. What every Project Zomboid player wants. <laughs> you cross out the houses too? Absolutely. There's no way I could remember what I was doing in 1993. <laughs> have to keep the map up to date. I guess we'll have an easier time power leveling uh, tailoring soon. That is the that's the other benefit out of all this. I'll be able to grind quite a bit of electrical and tailoring with these zombies. God damn spears. <laughs> About to be six feet deep. <laughs> Dab, got him. Rat nine <laughs> incoming. No, so, rat eight's about to get my new PB. He can't die. Rat eight's supposed to be my new record holder. I've come too far on rat eight. If Rat 8 dies, he will have lived a very brutal life full of murder and sadness. <laughs> oh, but look at this. I'm getting guns. Except, okay, this is a good condition gun. I will take it. It is a full condition gun. Even though it has no ammo. All I saw was milk running in the darkness like a crazy person. 
I run. Good thing I detoured off, though, into the power lines area, because otherwise I would have all these zombies, they the helicopter would not have gone away by the time I got home. They would have all been here at this area, at this base location. No, police officer zombie. I need to check if you brought me. Bullets. You did not. I only feel safe doing back attacks. <laughs> with a spear, because it has such long range. I just wanted to check this way, in case there are any zombies inching their way to my base. I'm gonna go check in on the generator to see if anyone came up. What's the plan for Rat 9? I think there's only one more unique Pillows cabin spawn location. And it's kind of a big one. Rat 9 is not going to have such um, a zombie killing focus. And is going to be much more focused on uh, construction and home improvement. She's going to be starting off in the wilderness all by herself and god damn me if it is before. <laughs> if I have to start another rat right at the beginning of winter. Basically all my deaths have happened like right at the start of winter recent in the past couple rat deaths. It's been very hard to build up a character through the winter starvation period where there's no easy fishing allowed. There is no rat nine. But I think I'm Rat Nine's gonna have a little bit of a throwback build. And then Rat Ten also has a special build. Come on over. Your base looks amazing. Thank you. Rad 8 is building quite a few. That's his his claim to fame. His little gas station rest stop bases. In winter with a fishing pole and one fishing, you can catch fish right away. Yes, if you do have a fishing pole. That's why... Angler's pretty strong. Angler in CDDA is a really strong career choice. Where am I on the map? I'm at the crossroads. So Dixie's directly south of me. Moldra's southwest, and then West Point 
is north of me. I'm kind- I'm just right here. This is like the last little bit of civilization before the big towns. Alright, I'm gonna do a little shouting over here by the tree line just to make sure I pulled up- pulled any zombies that were over here. Before I potentially engage with the much bigger group up ahead. I think I'm safe. Oh, I got I got a couple. Let's keep shouting. Let's shout and stand over here. Pokemon! Ye pirate gold, what would you like to name? I just checked my character has survived for eight months and I felt so proud. But you've survived for years? No, this character has only survived for 10 months and 19 days. The world has been, he's rat eight. Seven rats have come and died before him. Oh my gosh, 19,106. You are only a little bit over 400 kills. Away from PB Town. We got a golfer. You brought me a present. But I don't really want it. What is this? Alright, I'll take a metal bar, I guess. That might come in useful. May come in handy later. All right. Well, luckily, not too <laughs> not too many followed. Considering how many are waiting at the at the uh, power lines. This is, this is, I am happy that only this many showed up. Name your axes Johnny. These two? You can name one. You can have one axe. Well, you can have both axes be Johnny, since they're only half condition. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. I, don't, I wish I could... Alright, I will rename a trash bag in your honor just to officiate it. But I'm not going to carry that trash bag on me. <laughs> we'll leave it somewhere. I want to get those two rabbits. Hunting knife spear, thank you. Zombies dispatched. Except for the ones that are lurking in the trees waiting for me to check my traps. Get over here. Alright. 
Well, saw me. Wait, I'm trying to put. Alright, let's do one shout by. Let's do a couple shouts, actually. By the traps, just in case there are any other zombies here. I don't want to get sneaked up on. I'm seeing a four. I want the hunting knife. Give me the spear. Excellent. Let's go back, work out. I think it's safe. I was debating about working out or not, because I'm like, do I want to basically exhaust myself for over an hour? If zombies did show up, that would be very bad. But I think we're good. This... The zombies didn't follow me home as much as I had feared. This is not worst case scenario. We go. Rotten rabbits into the composter. They're not rotten. They're fine. I'm just sad they're not big rabbits. I want those like 90 plus hunger reduction rabbits. I'm tired of my little weenie rabbits. I want the big ones. Right, go ahead. Eat half of this. I have so much stuff to put away. Other gloves that gotta go. Metal bar, you're gonna go downstairs. Hunting knives, gun, you need to go downstairs. Go ahead, have a cigarette. Oh, I haven't worked out yet. You can't rest. <laughs> Trying to skip the most important step to working out. The working out part. Alright, there you go. Lightning speed. Go ahead, rest. Sit on the ground. Everything back on. All right. Rename. Hand axes are Phil Collins. Johnny. I can feel Rat Nine in the air tonight. <laughs> Stop trying to curse me. I, we was we we were fine. We made it through. Everything's good. All right, and then someone redeemed naming something, and they did not 
specify what they wanted named or I missed it and they didn't DM me. They wanted the name Cat, so there we go. <laughs> one chat one trash bag is named Cat. I, I swear, rat eight better not die. Or I, we're, I feel like I can't die before we even see West Point. That would be too sad. We have to at least see West Point, and then maybe you can die. You can't name all the axes Johnny. <laughs> You're lucky you get two. In perpetuity. That's not how it works. You can name one item. You get to pick that item. If I have a fire and my base burns up, only that antique oven is named Ratatouille. We only have one green backpack named Kazooie. You got two axes. Rat 8 had their cardio last night. We did. We sprinted home. Breakfast for dinner, mushroom, spinach, and cheese omelet. I love breakfast for dinner. That's such like an, I feel like that's a very American concept, but if you know, you know, breakfast for dinner slaps hard. So this is what, so that's what Milk's plan all along, all that time. Milk says Rat 8 is the chosen one. She really meant it as the chosen sacrifice to the West Point zone. Look, I could have let Rat 8 die there and no one, would you even doubted me? If we had died during that last helicopter event, you wouldn't even questioned whether or not it was an intentional death or not. But I didn't. I fought through it. I had Rat 8 persevere. I didn't shoulder tap a single zombie on the way home. And there are a lot of zombies and it was very dark and very scary. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna let them come to me. I did, I did right by Rat 8. I didn't want his suffering to go to waste. All, like, the 41 weight, the year, the months of starvation in Rosewood. I have to honor them. Oh my gosh, construction worker with a crowbar? You feel like a special zombie. Police officer, five nine millimeter rounds. I'm just going to let them come to me. It's a bread knife. Nothing to get excited about. Nothing. 
another construction zombie right near the old one. We want to check his pockets, see if there's five nails or a box of nails. go take that broken spear give me a new one i have all right more leather gloves but no nails did that zombie get marked with a special sign rat eight needs to kill spinderella the one who took out rat six it would be nice. I mean, if Rat 8... Rat, Rat 6 is not buried. So, I mean, if we're getting close to take out Spinderella, we're probably close enough to reclaim Rat 8. Or Rat 6 and get her buried. Or at least get her stored so that we can bury her one day. At West Point. Or not West Point. Uh, at the West Point Mansions. All right, let's do it. I'm just going to wait for them to come so I don't waste any endurance walking towards them. Claire, I wanted to confirm what is your broken stick record. Uh, the one I've recorded on stream is eight broken sticks started on the ninth stick. But off stream, I've I feel like I've gotten at least ten plus. Ooh, Chelsea bits. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Here, let me let me pause my game. Welcome in. Hello, hello. You're magnificent. You're magnificent. All right, I'm checking for typos. I did type out twice. Here come the shroomies. I love it. All right, if you like Project Zomboid, if you like a little bit of variety, you gotta check them out. Chelsea Bits, fill in that heart. Thank you for the follow, Mr. UTs, Mr. Utz. <laughs> I've not done very much stick breaking, but I am hopeful one day I'll chase it. Are you not playing with outdoorsmen? You might have to play without outdoorsmen to get such terrible luck. Such personal worsts as eight sticks to start a singular fire. I was lurking earlier, and now it was brought back. How's the rat surviving today? Uh, came very close to death. <laughs> came very close to death. How are you? Let me get you the questions. Were you playing Project Zomboid? How many people have you killed? Why? How many zombies have you killed? Did you have any near death experiences or death like experiences? Why? I. We just had a very spicy day yesterday. I got caught unawares by a helicopter because apparently I listened to the weather too early. Then the helicopter came right at five o'clock. So I had a little bit of a late night helicopter. That pulled way, way more zombies than I had anticipated or was prepared for. And 
and somehow <laughs> managed to get back home. It was very dicey. I don't know if we'll get close enough to see it today, but I'll pull it up on the map. Basically, I ran into trouble around here and then I was like, okay, I'll just back up because I know I've thoroughly cleared this area. And the more I backed up with the helicopter following me, the more I realized uh, I had not cleared enough. <laughs> I had not cleared enough the 10,000 zombies I've killed between my base and uh, up the road were definitely not enough. Uh, there are more. There are always more zombies in the trees. Uh, my car is also abandoned up at the end of this road. Hopefully we'll get it back. It is running. If you'll stick around, Rat9 is going to be a thing tonight. <laughs> Everyone thinks Rat8's gonna die. I think he's gonna be fine. I was. I was on 16x multiplayer and got a close call trying to get into Riverside. How close. That's fun. Did they graze you? Do any shoulder tapping or just made your heart leap into your chest and you're like, oh god, this is it. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. That was me. I don't know how we got out of that. I wonder if my PC can run this game, but I really hate playing games on keyboard and mouse. You can. I think Project Zomboid does have controller support. I know you can play it on the Steam Deck Project Zomboid. So if you have a fairly decent computer, or not even a fairly decent. If your computer is as strong as a Steam Deck, you should be able to play Project Zomboid, at least on lower end graphic settings. Scary Night Helly revealed many, many, many more zombies near to base than anticipated. <gasps> Three of us heading into Riverside. Two of us made it out alive. Ooh. That is a spicy run. Nerd Gamer Dave plays on a PlayStation controller. I, don't, I feel like playing with the controller in Project Zomboid is like you're almost playing with a handicap. Like, that's like playing. Dark Souls, but with the Guitar Hero control... controller. I can reclaim that hunting knife and fix that spear. Or at least make it usable again. Right, you're hungry. Do I have food on you? I do. There you go. We're going to stay out a little bit later. Kill some more zombies. I play it on my seven plus year old laptop. Yeah, for Project Zomboid, I think you need like a better processor than you do a graphics card. And Build 42 is supposed to help performance. All right, I gotta check your pockets. You might have ammo in them, but not that much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Dark Souls plus Guitar Hero controller sounds right up your alley. <laughs> Then just speed, speed run it. Do a, do a zero damage. Guitar Hero controller run. Does no one remember that back on Twitch? I'm pretty sure that happened on Twitch. Someone did like a zero damage Guitar Hero. Dark Souls one, two, and three run. All live. I feel like that was some kind of twitch madness. Dark Souls of the DDR dance pad. Get a fucking workout. I play certain computer games with um, a controller. Like I, I played Elden Ring with a controller. But I've played all the Souls games with a controller. I think Project Zomboid would be fine to play. What might suck with the controller is inventory management. I don't know. Like, fighting would probably... Fighting and driving. Probably better with a controller. Managing your inventory? Probably worse. Unless they have some really thoughtful and creative shortcuts and options for you. God, and we're not even at like the worst part yet. Okay, I should head home after this. We're not even at the worst part where most of the zombies probably are still. This is just a huge mess. Oh, but I am so close to getting a new PB. I can almost taste it. Tastes like flies. <laughs> Tastes like, mmm, death and decay. I guess it'll be good to see if any zombies showed up at my house after since I've left the generator on. Good old spears never not breaking. I'm trying to think about how you would get foraging mode. Uh it could be hotkeyed. I think. Oh, I thought home. I thought home opened the foraging menu, but my home key is not end key. Ah, hot keyed. So there would maybe be a hot key on the controller for it. <laughs> 
First aid would be a nightmare. Anything with a menu, I'm assuming, would be pretty terrible. But driving, probably absolutely amazing. The inventory thing is what everyone brings up about controllers. I mean, it's probably, like, the inventory and not being able to really, like, click and drag and stuff. That's the main advantage. I mean, if there are more hotkeys, like an MMO, then you could also make an argument for a computer. But we only have, like, what... Five hotkeys at the most, like your your back, your two belt slots, and then maybe you have a double holster in vanilla. You definitely have enough buttons to do all that. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. I have a gun. I have some more nine millimeter rounds that are ready to be put in a box. All of this, all of this ammo foraged from the zombies that we kill. All right, metal. Oh, you're not gonna fit. All right, no one is around, right? If I go into my death trap of a storage room, no zombies are gonna break down my door, right? Ooh. Core loss coming for me. Also, Boris Toaster, thank you for the bits. Even though you're shit talking me. <laughs> shit talking rat eight. Thank you. Keeping me on my toes, keeping rat eight alive. We can put our two little potato pieces away. Right. Definitely need some more water for these crops. Are you talking about using a controller for Zomboid? Because I once started using one. I find movement is so much easier. I can't go back. That's that's the what I've heard. I've heard movement and driving with a controller are better. But the other things are worse. Like a in inventory management is worse. Tomatoes are watered. Potatoes. I'll be good to go soon. And then once these are harvested, I'm going to replant potatoes.
the replant potatoes and cabbages and that should be my last harvest maybe just cabbages depending on how long it takes them to come out i don't know how much time i'll have left for crops all right go ahead and eat half now you can eat the other half in the morning when you wake up And I think we need to cook food, so... Do I have food to cook? Yes. I switched to keyboard for inventory management and movement for a controller. The hybrid play. I play... BL3? Is that... Do you mean Baldur's Gate 3 on a controller with friends? Just chill, lay back, relax. You play Elden Ring and didn't don't stream it. My disappointment ex is extreme and my day is ruined. I played Elden Ring before I was streaming. I don't know if I'm a good enough Elden Ring player to stream it. At least for me, I I I use guides for that game. <laughs> like, where do I go? What do I do? Who am I supposed to kill? All right. Let me go do that. All right, but time to cook. Time for another prediction. How many sticks? We've had one stick. We've had two stick. We have not had three stick. Most recent stick is two, but it's not on a streak. Other things you need to know. Rat 8 doesn't have outdoorsmen. So no boosted chance. But you never know. And then we're going to do one carrot, one cabbage, one potato. Rabbit. Two pieces of rabbit. There's my cooking. Small bird. Carrot. Cabbage. You're actually going to have shit to read finally. It's going to be cooking level 8 for rat 8. Small bird and then one of every piece of food. I would do the hybrid thing on State of Decay 2. Driving I found easier on a controller. Oh my gosh. I played I played State of Decay 2 with a mouse and keyboard and driving. Oh my god. Driving in that game is a pain. Fun. But dangerous. So I just grabbed the controller whenever I got into the car. See, milk the best Elden Ring streamer streamers are the ones that aren't good at it. The ones that rage. <laughs> this is oh I can't stream Elden Ring because as soon as I start sucking at it I start shit talking the game 
super hard. <laughs> I'm like, it's not me. It's this fucking game. It's rigged. It's bullshit. Dark Souls 1 was the best. It's all been downhill ever since, except for Bloodborne. And then I calm down and I come back and I'm like, okay, greatest game ever. <laughs> greatest game ever. I take it all back. It's beautiful. All right, I'm just waiting for the rabbit to defrost. I wonder if this will get warm enough that it'll that the snow will turn into water. Do you not recognize my roof? You don't recognize my roof. Why don't you recognize- Oh, because this area isn't enclosed? If I enclosed it, would you recognize this as a roof? The game thinks there's snow in here. It does recognize it as inside, though. It's a lot warmer in here than it is outside. Not that it's super warm. Alright, if you don't... Hurry up and finish defrosting. just going to cook without you. <laughs> something something Morrowind is the only good Elder Scrolls game. Yes, same philosophy. There's nothing better to a Dark Souls fan than watching someone struggle. Okay, but what if I'm just like, all right, time to get the cheese magic beam spell. So I just stand at the end and light up, light up a boss. Pizza ads are Coco, Cuckoo. Who doesn't know about pizza? They're just trying to get you hungry. It's like McDonald's commercials. They just show you the commercials to Pavlov you into wanting that food. I never want McDonald's until I see, sorry, a McDonald's commercial or I hear someone talking about McDonald's and then I'm like, fuck, I want McDonald's. <laughs> I'm sure I just made one of you go, fuck, I want McDonald's. <laughs> it's like a brain worm that you can't get rid of. Bloodborne is my number one Souls game. I like Bloodborne, but it's just been such a long time since I've played it. All right, are you done? Finally. And the prediction has run its course. Uh, so it's time to pay the piper. Time to figure out who in chat are winners and who in chat are stick losers. Here we go. First stick. We got 30% on one stick. Will it ride? Wow. 
waiting for it. You hear that sizzle? That's one stick. One and done. Knocked it out of the park. A shamrock shake FOMO. I've tried a shamrock shake and I thought that shit was disgusting. Some of the, one of the worst milkshakes I've ever had. I'm pregnant, so I want every food at every time. I'm terribly sorry, but I hope you get every food. All the time. I send Skyrim lovers into a rage on occasion. I've lost 15 runs to game breaking bugs. Usually it's finding a book in a chest that the, what, broken librarian would eventually send me on a quest for. I've played so much Skyrim and never completed the main story. It's one of my great sins as a gamer. But my original file was corrupted, so it's not my fault. <laughs> There's a main story? I don't know, something about like two nations fighting each other? Maybe a big dragon coming to fuck shit up? I don't know. Something about being the chosen one. You know, typical. Not nearly as cool as the Thieves Guild. Or the Dark Brotherhood. Alright, well, it took you all morning, but your food is cooked. Let's bait the bird traps. You probably need to work out, right? Uh, grab some more potatoes for my rabbit traps. It's not getting warmer. 24 degrees. We are quite a bit below freezing right now. And bait, worm, worm. Everybody gets a worm. I need to make another stick trap. Put that scrap wood downstairs. Drop your backpack. Get ready. 60 minutes of squats headed your way, Red 8. Oh, you need to eat more. You are 80 and dropping. Oh my goodness. Is winter settling in so early? November 4th. Are we about to enter a white wonderland? That's fine by me. Zombies, fighting in winter is nice because zombies contrast so much with the snow. 
it's easier to see easier to see them winter and you don't get hot while wearing all of your protective gear while fighting very nice all right i'm gonna give you a cigarette gather up some spears and it's uh back out into the fold Winter is coming. So is Rat 9. <laughs> you want it. I hope you don't get what you want, Boris Toaster. Rat 8's gotta live forever. I am... 300... Less than 300 zombies away from a new PB. From a new PB. The main story is how many husbands and wives can you get? I've never even played Skyrim where you can like build, like you can get your own house now, right? And decorate it. Didn't they release like an expansion to it? I never played that part. I've got to do a Fallout 4 stream. Though. Get my perfect Fallout 4 save file. Where I, uh do some shenanigans and have the Brotherhood and um, the Railroad still alive at the end. Once I get a new computer, I'll try Fallout and see if it still crashes every 30 minutes. See if it becomes playable. Hello, Rabbit Traps. I see you got three for me. Ooh, and one that is worthy to store in the big cooler. I'll come back for you. <laughs> Get the PB and then die. <laughs> Hearth of Fire added three locations to build your own house. There were houses in vanilla Skyrim, just not building. Okay. Lost another run? It's hard to get them started. Pro Project Zomboid's basically... Besides taking away zombie population and maybe your peak population being out a couple months or whatever, a couple days, Project Zomboid is the hardest right at the start. You are your weakest, your feeblest, you have your the least amount of resources readily available to you. I'm always so nervous when I lose one rat, getting another rat going. I'm like, please don't die. Don't start a death spiral for me. Where <laughs> we just can't get a run off the ground and it's back-to-back -back deaths. That next stream after a character d dies is, is mentally tough. It's like, please, no fucking up, no fucking up. <laughs> I have no weapons. I have no gear. The world is full of three-year-old zombies. Uh-oh, that shout. Well, we're starting the day off. All right, I want to get rid of this broken spear if we're going to be that close to being over encumbered. Let's get another one ready for the back. Nineteen. Nineteen thousand five hundred thirty 
38. Here I come. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting rain? This is actually turning into rain? Okay, uh, I need to kill you and then plant some crops because I did not think I would get rain ever again. It went up 10 degrees? I'll take it though, I'll take it. I won't complain about rain. Fill up my water barrels. This could be the last rain I get until springtime. We are very cold and very dry world settings. And snow does not count as rain. The push to 20k. I'm almost there. My last Fallout 4 got broke by the UR Brotherhood of Steel quest line. Also not fixable with console cheats. No matter what you do, eventually the Brotherhood makes you take out the railroad. <sighs> I've never fully done it. Um, Starman Crusader, but there's a, there's a Reddit guide online where you basically... You have to skip some of the Brotherhood of Steel stuff and then not do it. There's a point of no return in the Brotherhood Steel quest line that you just can't advance past. But you basically go to take the Institute as the railroad, fuck it up, and then you have to take the Institute as the uh, Minutemen. And then that stops the brother that stops the railroad from being attacked when it would normally canonically be attacked in the game all right 11 4 i'm just going to plant cabbage we're just going to plant cabbage i know cabbage will definitely be ready Cabbage takes like 10 days to grow. So I can probably get two cabbage crops in before winter settles. Right, take your seeds back and just hearing zombies. Just hearing zombies and going crazy, don't mind me. Can you grow crops when it's snowing? I'm new to the game. Yes, currently in this build, you can grow crops during winter time. They get a little bit of a reduced like output, but it's not, it's still worth it to grow crops during winter. Uh, the only thing you'll have to watch out for is snow does not water the crops. So you will need stored water in rain barrels or a huge amount of pots <laughs> with water or just you need to grow your crops near a renewable water source like a pond. I, I, the rain stopped basically after I got everything planted. Are you even going to water my crops? I come all the way here. Are you even going to water them for me, Rain? And you can grow inside without lights? Yes. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure I have never grown inside, uh, but I've seen other people do it, so it must be possible. If other people can do it, why not me? I think these are potatoes for the rabbits and not actually potatoes that need to be stored. Put away. Gosh, you're so hungry. Why are you so hungry? You're acting like I never feed you when all I do is feed you. Multiple entire family size portions a day, rat. Also, lower dogma. Thank you for the follow. And Aberux TV. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right, let's go. Let's go kill more zombies. Let me in. Uh, welcome in, Mick the Muppet. Does snow fill rain catchers? It does not, but there is a mod for that. There is a mod, so if you want it, it's on the mod shop. I will say though, if you have normal weather, if you have normal weather conditions, you should get at least some rain during winter time. Maybe not as much as you would normally get, but I feel like on normal weather conditions, it doesn't like you will get some rain. I'm playing on very cold and very dry weather setting, so I'm anticipating potentially getting no rain. But normal, normal weather conditions, you should be fine. You should have no problem, really. Red Eight's entire life is cardio. It was less cardio when we had our car before we had to abandon it. I don't like snow. Especially snow like this when the ground isn't white. It adds a lot of... It's like fighting through a filter. A polka dot filter. It's also getting late, but... I'm hoping for some late night fighting since I stopped in the middle of it. To try to water some crops. Have you found a working car yet? I've got a car. This is Red 8. Red 8's had a car. Still no working car on uh, Bunny, if that's who you're thinking of. My CDDA character. I even have backup cars I could be driving right now. But there's no point. I'm just going to drive into zombies and then have to get out of my car, so I'll, I'll walk. Let's take a walk. Here, you want this broken spear? Oh, I hear a zombie. That's not me being crazy, and that's a real zombie. Do you play with respawn on? Yes. Respawn set to a year, though. Uh, if you click, those are my settings. Experiment 1 is what I started with. Experiment 2 is what I just changed from. Uh, but there's not too many differences between Experiment 2 and Experiment 3. I will add it, though. 
but the zombie settings are the same. What are you doing down there? Was I not over here yelling? Where? Why are you just walking from one side of the road to the other? Why did the zombie walk from one side of the road? Okay, and I think I see the- yeah, I see the three dots. That's just a bread knife. This is what I'm talking about. Why are you hiding in the trees? Stop it. Face me in combat. Don't lie and wait for me. Don't hide in the bushes until there's a helicopter and swarm me all at once. That's cheating. You're not allowed to use tactics. You're supposed to be stupid. If you're not stupid, you're not a zombie. What day am I on? Uh, this character is eight months old. Eight months plus. Uh, but the world is over three years old. Rat 8 is 10 months, 20 days, 11 hours, 19,318 zombies killed. Adding some bait. Yep, the respawn uh, unseen hours is set to one year, by the way. So you'll need to not visit a cell for an entire year for zombies to respawn. Yes, not technically an entire year because zombies can spawn in the peripheral. My radius is only about 150 tiles, but everywhere my 150 tiles touch, zombies can't respawn there. This is so that, and that is what I want. It's functioning as intended. I want to have the feeling of clearing an area and then the area that I'm living and constantly killing zombies in, I want that area to stay clear. I only want abandoned areas to fill up with zombies. But what are all you doing over here? Who drug you out here? What? Where did you come from? Someone's knocking on my door. We have some aggressive zombies at the house. I literally just left this place and saw no zombies here. Where did you all come from? In the like four hours I was gone. Any hiding around the generator? No, they were just all attracted to the base. They're like, not this noisy thing over here. We don't care about that. Alright, 
I'm just going to do a little check over here. God, this is so hard to see with the snow falling right now. I think I'm good. I'm not brave enough to explore too much when visibility looks like this. Let's go back to base and chill. They sent assassins. They'll come and get me eventually. I might lower sight unseen. I really, I haven't had a chance to test it out. It's hard to tell what the zombie respawn will actually feel like. I might lower it sight unseen. I really want to get over here because rat six, like I said, she's killed around six, 6,000 zombies in this area. And it has been well over a year. So rat seven lived about a year. Rat eights lived about a year. So I should have 20% respawn in this area. No, like rat eight has come the closest and that's right here. So that should be well like away from any type of respawn. Um, in front, like I should not have, I should not interfere with any respawn. So all the respawn here should be completely natural. And that's what I want to see. If it feels like way too much, then I guess I'm not going to change it. If it doesn't feel like anything's respawned, I'm Rat going to lower it. Make it there. <laughs> Rat 9 should make it there. I don't know. Rat 9 is probably not going to be there, at least not for a long time. Rat 9 is going to be one of the Moldra rats. There's an abandoned campground down here. I think that's the last place I have yet to spawn with the Pillows Cabin spawn mod. So Rat 9 will be uh, living out in the wild for quite some time before she rejoins civilization. So if we want to see West Point <laughs> and we want to see West Point soon, we got to hope Rat 8 doesn't kick the bucket. Or you got to hope that Rat 8 kicks the bucket very quickly and then Rat 9 kicks the bucket very quickly. Because Rat 10 is going to be our next West Point L LV Rat. All right, I have more food for you to eat. My poor starving child. I can probably take a break from bird trapping. Next couple days. Got quite quite a few recently. And one of you is fit for long term storage. I'll stop talking shit. Yeah, you can talk as much shit well. <laughs> Your shit talking's okay, Boris Toaster. It's funny. I like the hype for Rat Nine. <laughs> Everyone's hoping their gamba luck will be better with Rat Nine versus Rat Eight. Uh, but Rat 9 might have Outdoorsman. I hate to break it to you. I guess that could be better gamble luck. More of a guaranteed chance with a one stick. Alright, you can't go to bed yet, so let's work on... Ooh, actually you have reading. Don't you have reading? You leveled up skills. You leveled up cooking? Tailoring's not quite there, but we can read the cooking book. Except, no, we can't because I don't have it. Let's add that as a thing to get.
All right, then tailoring it is. Gotta find something to do in these long, dark hours of the night. Now we just inspect, remove all patches, level up apparently. Do I have the tailoring book? I do have tailoring. All right, I have one thing to read, but it's basically a bedtime. <laughs> Red eight won me enough points for VIP. He did okay. He's doing his best. Alright, I'm like gonna let you have a little cigarette. And are you completely out of food? No, you have one more stir fry. What's your weight at? 80? Alright, go ahead, eat this. Grab some pans. I'm gonna cook some food. All right, chat. I'm gonna go a little bit later. A little bit later tonight. I'm gonna... Take a real quick break though, eight and a half hours almost. I'm gonna rehydrate and then I will come back. All right, two pieces of cabbage, one small piece of potato into the fire. What's this prediction looking at? 78% believing in that one stick. 13% hoping to get lucky once again on two. And then just 9% holding out hope that we might get a three plus stick here at the end of the night. Maybe. It does feel like three sticks do happen towards the end of the stream. We had a three plus stick. At the end of last stream, I believe. But sometimes I feel like that's the case because we do it late. Late at night and our character is very depressed, very hungry, very tired. How was your AFK grilled cheese? Rat 8 would have been on a dying while you bite the, the Chessy sandwich. I don't have a grilled cheese boorish toaster. But I do have a bag of Cheez-Its. I do, I do have a bag of Cheez-Its. It is cheese related. I think I'll be fine, though. I think I'll be fine. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. All right? I learned. 
Don't take your hands off of the keyboard unless the game is paused. And I've been, uh, I've been very good. Okay. I'm gonna bring all these little cabbage pieces to where the rabbits are. Use them as a bait. Before they go bad, probably by tomorrow. Alright, I'm too afraid to start the fire with my book on me, so go stay over there, book. And here we go. Will it be one stick? Will it be two? Nope. Nope. That's another one and done. One stick supremacy all day. Are they double cheddar? No. They're just original cheese it. Cheez-Its have the most artificial taste and has the texture of cardboard, but man, do I love them. Same. Cheez-Its have a nice texture. Like, the you always eat it salty side down. Am I right? You always put the salted side on your tongue. No one puts that shit on the roof of their mouth. I don't believe you. How could you? That's monster behavior. <laughs> Wrong. You do. You do salty side on the roof of your mouth. Salty side tongue down only. We're about to start a war. White cheddar salt side up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're not welcome around these parts. Mm -mm. This is a cheese it salty side down only stream. Can't be bringing that weak shit around here. <laughs> and then you crush it against the roof of your mouth. That's the perfect way to eat it. Maybe you just haven't been indoctrinated yet into the good house of salty side down. You eat Cheez-Its individually? Yes, I do. I didn't used to, uh, but I've put in a lot of effort into having better eating habits, so now I do. Now I savor and I enjoy the Cheez-It. I used to eat them by the handful. Worth. Worth it. All right, I'm going to make a little bit salad since you've been super hungry all the time recently. Just out of the proteins. I guess I'll throw a cabbage in there. I forgot I have the little bits. <laughs> There's only one way to eat a cheese it and it's the right way. There you go. Nice and full. Up arrow. You've got stuff for the road. Go up and fill your bottle. You want a cigarette? We're gonna need a new lighter. 
my gosh, not yet. And how many spears do I have? Five? I'll grab a couple more. I'm really glad I repaired my generator earlier. I don't have to wor worry about it. All right, and no one's back here. Loitering at my base. No one's over here. No one's out front. <laughs> I'm just checking. We had weird zombies show up out of nowhere. Just making sure. Ooh, and I see your hot rat eight. I can remove your pants. Oh, I shouldn't have killed you here. Now I have to carry your corpse. All right, both hands. Back in it. Palette scars from salt. I feel like the little pieces of salt would hurt the roof of my mouth. Like, you know the pain you get when you eat too much Captain Crunch? I feel like that's what it would be like. I need the soft, smooth side against the roof of my mouth. What's the best way to eat a Kit Kat? Like, um... A pencil sharpener. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to carry all these. Oh shit, I forgot these rabbits. Okay, don't... Don't let me forget the dead rabbit pile. Okay. <laughs> Not again. You still have bait. Cabbage. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna remove your bait. I don't trust it. Day old bait. Can't trust it. I don't know what. I don't know that bait. You could have been nibbled on. Hey, but you say minus five, so I guess you're believable. Alright, we're all set. I see some zombies. Let's start. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I left my drink in a terrible spot. I never put it there. That's why I didn't notice it. Uh oh, chat. One second. One second. Did it get on the keyboard? I don't. Okay, good. It did not get on the keyboard. Alright. <laughs> this is what I get for streaming past my curfew. This is what I get. Now I'm making mistakes, spilling drinks that should not even be being drunk. All right, uh, crisis averted. I've had most of my teeth taken out. I know the pain. God bless you. That must... That can't be fun. 
Like, teeth are one of those things... <laughs> you really don't know how... how much you miss them until they're gone. And you think cleaning your teeth is a pain? Wait till you don't have any teeth to clean. Life becomes a pain. I used to put my 32 ounce cup near my keyboard. Uh, and then you learned a lesson. You literally only have three teeth? So do you have like partial dentures? Partial and a full, I guess? Or two partials? For those of you wondering, I'm a full-time caregiver, so that's... <laughs> I have experience. I have been in elder care for a while. Come on over, zombies. I have a birth defect. None of my adult teeth have enamel. I have composite caps on every tooth. God, that sounds expensive in American healthcare. Do you think in the apocalypse, <laughs> when we would no longer have good dental care and stuff, uh... Would people... Would there be people who harvest, uh, things from zombies and not just to their pockets? I'm talking about all kinds of pieces of candy. Would people be making dentures from zombie teeth? I don't know if I want to think about that. They kind of touched on that concept in Fear the Walking Dead. One of the characters, like one of the kid character, like teenage kid characters in the show is like a drug addict and they start like micro dosing like a part of the zombie brain or whatever. It was, it was a very weird turn in Fear the Walking Dead, but uh, apparently it was like a crazy high. You were like eating the fear or I don't know, some part of like the brain. So I don't feel like if, if people are doing that, then uh, teeth, teeth don't seem that bad. If you know, you're getting high off of eating parts of the zombie brain. A necklace. <laughs> Come on out. Come on out, zombies. I just can never guess. Is it going to be one zombie when I shout? Is it going to be like 30 zombie when I shout? This, this will be 30 zombies. It's 
Stay focused. Stay together. <laughs> stay in the group. Keep all spears within arm's reach. Here we go. Walk, talk, Stephen Hawk kicking us off with a celebratory spear break. Like the champagne bottle on the hull of a ship. <laughs> gonna get some space so we can get more of the conga formation <laughs> those three zombies all in the black shirts they they could have been in a metal band they definitely could have been in a garage band together. Uh-oh. I'm out of spears. And there's one zombie left. Alright, well, more than one zombie. Alright, I'm gonna go back and work out, and then we can come back out here and fight some more. How close? How close am I? Ooh. 200. 200. Almost there. You're hot? And you aren't wearing any pants? How can this be? All right, to the roof. Drop your bag. Exercise. 60 minutes. Lightning speed. Go ahead and rest. Sit on the ground. You can put your fanny packs back on. You need another cigarette. You can sit, you can smoke while you're sitting down, and you can walk while you smoke, but you can't get up from smoking. Interesting. Oh, and you're hungry? I've got food. And I have even more food. Right, you are 81 up arrow, very happy. Should I grab more spears for you? I think I'm good. Famous last words, but I think I'm good. Kenshi, ah, uh, the game. 
where I can be a robot wearing human skin clothing while chopping off limbs from slave controlling nobles. God, I've got to play some Kenshi. <sighs> Me too. What server is that? This is a solo sandbox. So sorry. But if you want the settings. There you go. You can play in your own little sandbox. All right, and I'm resisting the urge to run. Oh, fuck, I forgot the bunnies again. Uh, I'll, I'll remember them eventually. It'll eventually happen. No worries. Let me in. Dragon Lord. 8,612, thank you for the follow. I'm resisting eating more cheese, that's all I'll have you all know. It's taking a lot of willpower. But come on, zombies, gather round. Come on over. Dinner is here. And dinner is me. Fook. Kit. Thanks for the follow. Justin, NASA just said 10 minutes of jumping on a trampoline can burn the same amount of calories as running for 30 minutes. That's awesome. That's, <laughs> is that real? You gotta bounce around? Or is this... It's the same in space. Is it the same on Earth? Or it's better in space? Alright, cat, I see you. One second. I'll get the door for you. Trampolines are a major cause of death. Even like the little... Probably... Human, a lot of humans die from falling still. Cat just baited me into opening that door and then walked away. It's, it's so weird that it's funny. <laughs> we have invented protective clothing, like actually good protective clothing, like helmets, elbow pads like knee pads it's kind of crazy that we just as a society choose not to wear the super protective clothing that could definitely save us from harm and inner injury because everyone has deemed it uncool like no society has been like we should make everyone wear a helmet people would be a lot safer if everyone just wore a helmet but we're all like, no, that's fucking lame. We will not wear helmets. How dare you? 
every society around the world has universally said, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> we are not doing it. All right, Kat, why are you here? I'm trying to get a PB, Kat. I'm having to rearrange my desk a little bit. Can you currently eat six Cheez-Its without drinking any liquid? No, I definitely could not. My mouth would be so dry from all this talking. I'm a hydration fiend. <laughs> Thanks for the sandbox. You're welcome. I hope you like it. Everyone wear football gear now. I, I mean, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Especially... Like, people... People die from hitting their heads so much. So much. But we all don't want to be lame and wear helmets. So it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Math being uncool is on the same train. That's why an unfortunate amount of people believe the earth is flat. People believe the earth is flat. Not because they don't believe in math, but because they want to be special and they want to be part of something special. That's, that's all it is. They just, they just want something that makes them feel like the main character. And they picked a really weird thing, but it does make them special. <laughs> they, they are special now. Not the special they were probably hoping for. Or the special they believe that they themselves are, but... That's a unique character defining quirk. Oh my gosh, Bob Saget would be alive today if mandatory helmets. You, see, this is how uncool and uncomfortable people don't want to be. They had to make mandatory seatbelt laws. <laughs> They had to make it a punishable crime for you not to wear the safety device. Otherwise, people won't even even helmets like riding like riding a bike. You have to have a helmet. Even that's a, a rule. Otherwise, people don't want to do it. It's fair. I agree. Helmets lame. I don't like helmet hair. I too want to live my life on the edge and have lovely locks while doing it. <laughs> Knowing enough about math to create new math is even better. Using math to create new math is witchcraft and we should uh, definitely still be burning those people. <laughs> no new math! No new math. I revolt. I revolt. No new math. No, I love math. I love math as long as it makes sense and it's not dumb space math, which doesn't make sense. Don't you start talking to me about how time changes the closer we get to the speed of light. Fuck that shit. That's fake math. That's the witchcraft math. Burn the witches. <laughs> Let's all just stick to nice geometry. Nice, simple, factual, beautiful, precise geometry. None of that witch math. None of that space magic. 
<laughs> space space math is cool spoken like a witch All right, am I at PB? <gasps> so close. So close. Can I pet that dog? No. I get into trouble every time I try to pet the dog. I can't do it. Hello, cat. My pet is judging me every time I'm up past bedtime. The judgmental eyes of my animal. <laughs> General relativity is just geometry. I don't like it. Not only does time slow down when you get close to the speed of light, but you also get heavier. It's quiet, quiet witches. Quiet. <laughs> the only space math I need is Sailor Moon. Thank you. I rejected science once they rejected Pluto. I'm done with you now. I worship a different god. <laughs> Sailor Moon has math. Yep. It's got eight planets. Really? I'm reaching the end of the line? So are these just the zombies? Have I just been killing the zombies that followed me away from the over... From the, uh, the power lines. I'm standing here and I'm yelling. Am I getting, I'm getting a couple more zombies. But is the main bulk, like, back here? I need to be careful. Careful of my shouts. There might be too many in the trees. Ooh, crowbar. Alright, it's very dark. Let's go. Uh, crowbar zombie, could you die right here? Thank you. Crowbar zombie by lamp. This is another zombie. Alright, you can come in from uh, the northwest. That's fine. There goes the spear. Got a new one. Come on over. All right, we're done. Is this where crowbar zombie is by this lamp? Let's get a spear reset, just in case I need it. Oh, there you are, crowbar. Okay, we've got just a little bit over a hundred. One more day. Let's go back. No need to risk anything. I'm going to be taking on the power lines next, so... Or I'm thinking it'll be that next. I'm a little nervous about it. 
Why is your character sick? Uh, there's something called corpse sickness, Clara, that builds up uh, from the body. So let's see. Do you see these flies? Whenever a pile of corpses starts to get flies, that means it's emitting corpse sickness. And that's what's making me queasy. To get rid of this, I need to move away from the corpses. Corpse sickness can kill you. It takes a long time, though. So make sure... You're far away from corpses when you sleep. That's normally how it'll kill you. Like if you're sleeping in a car next to a pile of corpses you've killed, then it might get you. Oh. I almost walked right into you. Good night. Good night, rat man. to put all of these rabbits back in my bag. All right, just overburdened with rabbits. Ugh, that's right. I'm also passing a lot of corpses on my way home, so... I need to give the corpse piles. I need to pay attention to that. I've got to walk back down Stink Road. Would it be worth it to start driving a car over there? No, I'm just going to use this opportunity to train sprinting. I hardly ever run right now, so this is this is a good chance. Let's use this to grind some skills. Uh, hopefully no one's lurking at the base because I've got a lot of negative moodles right now. Looks safe, though. I'm gonna check out back. No, even back looks safe. Astronauts have to exercise like five times as much as we do on Earth to get the full effect. <laughs> do not quote me on that though. No, because they don't have gravity. So we gravity really helps us out in our at Earthbound workouts. Alright, I'm just gonna put all the tiny ones into the fridge. The more moderate route ones I'll put into the short term freezer. And all of these big, almost 100% hunger reduction rabbits I'm gonna put into the long term freezer. All right, here you go. Have some food. Get rid of a bowl. Don't need two. All right, and then you have to read your tailoring magazine or book book. So let's start that. <laughs> That's not the same as saying don't sleep with zombies. I'm a big fan of the color pink, unless it's in Project Zomboid. Oh, I... Why? You don't like pink in Project Zomboid, but you do like it in other places? I love finding a pink thing in Project Zomboid. It's like finding a unicorn. Gravity forces us to be stronger. Definitely our bones, too. Like, astronauts have weak, 
Like astronauts can get weak bones if they spend too much time in space because our bones grow strong by having like tiny microscopic little breaks in them, right? Right, chat? Am I remembering science correctly? Maybe that's why they like the trampoline. <laughs> Oh, pink moodles. I got you. Yeah, I don't like those either. They're not pink. I don't accept them. All right, 640. You're not hungry yet, but how's your weight? You're 81 and going up. You have food on your back. I guess you're good to go then. Let's start the day. Water bottle is not filled. Let's fill up the water bottle. Wear your pants right now. And then when we start, before I, we start fighting, I should take the pants off. traps We've got two Ooh, two more nice big ones I'll come pick you up uh, hopefully later hopefully I don't forget about you hopefully I come back for you rabbits All right, I'm gonna be a little cautious I'm worried about zombies uh, coming back from the dead that's a fun little setting you can turn on. Even zombies you kill can pretend to be dead and come back to life. It's like 16x wasn't enough. I want to also kill some of them twice. <laughs> You lose your calcium if it isn't required. It means calcium supplements for a while after getting home. The pitter patter of murderous feet. That's Rat 8. Our little zombie killer. Or it's the zombie's feet that are pitter pattering. Have a good night. Gotta be up in six. Go to bed. Thank you for being here. Go to bed. Have a good tomorrow. It's gonna be rough. Six hours of sleep is tough to do. I know. I know it's tough. I feel that. Where are the zombies? I want the big groups. <gasps> Fire axe! Nice. That's the best loot we've found on a zombie since the katanas. The crowbars are nice. Crowbars are really nice. I love a crowbar zombie. But I have no intention to do long blunt anytime soon. So fire axe makes our little axe man very happy. Maybe I'll even let you use that one to fight. All 
Alright, Axeman's at the top of the pile. Artificial gravity and teleportation are the next tel technological leaps mankind will need <laughs> to get the next Civ type. We literally need magic. All right, we just need Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. Get on it, Bulma. Make us a gravity machine. Where's Capsule Corp when you need it? Where are zombies? How am I going to get to my... How am I gonna... <gasps> how am I gonna get a new PB? When there are no zombies. Okay, well I found the zombies. <laughs> That's it. We're doing one little shout and I'm falling back. I am not getting taken over. This, this is what happened during the helicopter event. Everything I've been killing on the road <laughs> is just whatever followed me as I ran away from the last helicopter event. But that, a ton of zombies showed up. I can't believe how many zombies showed up from that last helicopter event. That was wild. Don't, don't spread out into the trees. Stay here. You found them all. Go Claire, 24 hour stream. Ha. No, I just have to kill 100 more zombies. And then I get a brand. Bank and new Project Zomboid PB. And I want it. How did you get so distracted? I have been shouting. Why did you just all decide to stop and stare at your toes? There goes the spear. Thank you for holding on to that. Let's replace our back spear. Getting closer. The PB is within sight. We believe in you. No death flags. No death flags right before we get the new PB. We get the PB today. Rat 8 dies Friday. <laughs> Ooh, construction zombie and a park ranger to check in this little group. I have no corpse sickness yet. Another bright green coat crowbar zombie. I feel like my crowbar zombies always look like this. Always have bright green coats. All right, at the top of the pack is crowbar and park ranger zombie. 
construction zombie also close by. Great. And potentially a zombie dropped a bandana, so maybe some ammo. Alright, I'll take the gun. You're a perfect condition gun. I'll, I'll take you. Park Ranger has nothing. Crowbar zombie. I'll pick up the crowbar later. How am I over encumbered? Hungry? You gotta eat? Go ahead, have a cigarette. Alright, back at it. Back on that zombie killing grind. I'm shooting for 19,538. That's the number I need to hit. To have a new PB. <laughs> Imagine getting killed by a YMCA tribute performance. Hey, it would not be the worst way to die, Das Life. <laughs> I can think of worse zombies to kill me. If I could pick, what zombie would I want to be murdered by? I don't know. Zombies with lots of nails. That's what I want. <laughs> Give me a construction zombie to murder me. <gasps> Nocturne, thank you for the gifted sub to Roach Bait. You have been marked with a special sign. It's a symbol of our friendship. It is one quarter smiley face. Oh, I didn't tally the last park ranger. And I'm going to tally this one. Once again, nothing in the pockets. I'm going to run up ahead a little bit because I'm paranoid. Pull up my map. Pause. So I just... I killed one earlier and I killed one now, so... That brings my tally to five. We are at 15 park rangers checked. Zero bullets found. Hello and good morning from Germany. Uh, it is good evening from America. Happy time zone. We've met here at this beautiful hour of the day. Greetings. I hope your day starts well. Mine is going to start with pain from staying up too late. But sometimes... It's not too often I get a brand new PB in Project Zomboid. Also, Nocturne, thank you for the gifted... Young man, there's no need to feel down. Young man, there's no need to frown. Hats off the devs for not making including children zombies because we all know those are the scariest undead. Oh my gosh, yeah. No, I, li I like that's I like that. I don't need, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that in my unwinding game. I kind of like that in Fallout, uh, the Fallout series that they're like, you don't kill the kids. I like it. I know some people complain about it, but I'm down for it. And I also like that you find like no children corpses really. In Fallout. 
the baby bottles and rattles and empty little prams are enough. Are you excited for the Fallout series? Oh, K-Money. Yes and no. Yes and no, K-Money. Uh, Helen. One. Helen one C G R. Thank you for the follow. I am. I'm excited for the fallout, uh, Amazon television series. I think that's what you're referring to, but I'm also nervous about it because there's been like one, <laughs> there's been one video game adaptation that's ever really been done well, like truly like remarkably well. And that's the last of us. So, I'm very nervous about the Fallout series. If I was directing a Fallout series, the first season would take place entirely in the vault. <laughs> it would take place entirely in the vault, and that's how I would ease the average person into the world of Fallout. Uh, but I don't know. It The... The previews haven't looked too terrible. I have hope. I've liked quite a few Amazon series. So I am nervously optimistic, but bracing for disaster. All right, after this, I need to go back and work out. Cat, are you going to bait me into opening that door again and then walk away after I do it? Are you just flexing your power over me? You push through the curtain yourself, Cat. I believe in you. You can do it. I can't reach the curtain. Just push through. Just push through. God damn you. That show Silo is really close to people living in the vault. I have watched Silo and I've read the books, uh, Dust. I think the series was called Dust. Or maybe that was just the first book that the, that the TV show was based on. It's in huge Fallout vibes. Very good. I thought the show was pretty good. And I thought, I thought the books were great. So can recommend. My husband got me into Fallout about a year ago. He is very excited for the show. I'm glad I'm glad he's optimistic. Like I said, I I'm hoping historically video game to television or movie adaptations go terribly. But I am hopeful for the best. <laughs> Last of Us was amazing. F uh Amazon did some cool things with Incredible. Uh, the Boys. I liked the uh, Lord of the Rings show that Amazon did. But I'm a casual Lord of the Rings enjoyer, so I don't have like how many can I don't know like how many canon things they just got wrong in the show. I'm a Wheel of Time hate watcher. <laughs> I find that show very entertaining. Uh, not very good, but I'm down for the ride that is Wheel of Time. I don't even really like the books of Wheel of Time that much, but if there's one like fantasy story that just is crazy, I feel like that's Wheel of Time. Thank you. 
I'll say this. Of all the fantasy I've ever read, Wheel of Time shares the most with a harem anime. <laughs> it's basically an isekai. Alright, I have food for you. Let's not carry this axe around. It's just gonna be probably a little too heavy. And I'll put the gun away later. Half-Life TV series. I haven't played Half-Life. I know nothing of Half-Life. Except that you're a robot. Or you have a robot arm. I'm <laughs> Half-Life is one of those games that whenever it released, I never had a computer good enough to play it. <laughs> Half-Life was too high end for me. <laughs> Can't afford Half-Life. I can probably play some of the older games, th though, now. I could probably play them now. <laughs> I never cursed someone for dying like I cursed Robert Jordan. Do I keep the things about the Fallout TV I have heard to myself? Probably. If they're in spoiler territory, I would hold on to them. I don't personally care too much about spoilers, but I always try to be considerate of everyone who really does care about spoilers. Wheel of Time has chaos, but I can easily skip three to four books without missing anything important. No, no, no. You can't skip those books. They are so important. The minutia. The minutia of Wheel of Time <laughs> is where I love it, is why I love it the most. All, how, like, every character feels like they go through the same character arc over and over and over and over and over again. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that the author could keep, could keep doing it, could keep writing it like that. It's beautiful. I love it. It takes, it takes some skill. To keep writing the same thing over multiple times and keep people coming back for more. Coming back for more. Chomping at the bit to get those next story drops. Alright, you're hungry? Eat this. I'll grab some more food for you to carry with you. And let's go kill, like, 50 zombies. Put a spear in your hands. A spear on the back. One more for the backpack. Let's get rid of... The bullets and then the gun. All right, and we're walking and we're coming back to where we were killing zombies. One of my rabbit traps broke. I'm by the corpse pile. Keeping my eyes open for zombies because we are still speed walking. 
I guess it is time to bring a car out here. This is a this is definitely a long walk. Am I gonna bring my old blue car out of retirement? No. I'm gonna grab like a little silly car. I should have done that a while ago. Zip around in a little shit car. Not a good car that I could use for looting later on. I wonder how many times Naive tugged that braid. It's amazing Naive is not bald. But all authors do that. Um, George R. R. Martin, if you ever read the Wheel of Time series, he compares so many things to a fat man shitting. <laughs> like, so many things in his books are like, the boat groaned in the storm like a fat man going to the bathroom. <laughs> like... You're right what you fucking know, am I right? <laughs> I think it's I think it's cute how all authors get their own like little turns of phrases that they really like. I I, I have my own. I've written enough to develop my own bad habits. But they're just good. They feel right. Oh my gosh. 19,500 even? I need 38 more volunteers. I need 38 brave... Zambos and Zambies. I need some idiots to gather around. I must kill. Stop. Do not get distracted. Stop giving up. Follow me. You're supposed to be good at one thing, and that's following me to the ends of the earth. Do not get distracted by your toes. Ooh, jump scaring. What happens at 38? I get my new PB. I get a brand new shiny PB. That, this should be enough. This should be enough. This should be 30 plus, right? Yeah, 30. 30. Please be 30 zombies. Stop, stop. I see you slackers at the back. Thank you for the spear break reminder. You made me check. I am missing one on my back, so let's set that up and start. The killing. Don't really care about the pipe. Uh oh. Rat 8 is the zombie apocalypse. Alright, not there yet. <laughs> 14 more zombies! Why'd half of the group stop? I just... You have no hustle zombies sometimes. 
No hustle whatsoever. It's like you don't want to eat Rat Eight's delicious, delectable, plenty of level 10 skill brain. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with Rat Eight's brain? Why don't you like it? Rangers in the group cross from a street lamp. Don't know if I'll come back for you. All right. I definitely have had to have killed 14 zombies, right? I mean, we're living PB territory here. Every every death is a is a new a new personal best, right? Is this, is this where I'm at? Is it done? Is it over? It's here. Look at it. 19,542. Let's confirm. Let's confirm. Rat 7. 19,537. Rat 8. Rat 8. You have stolen. You have taken your first title from the reigning triple crown holder. Here we go. The skull of zombie slang returns or comes to rat eight for the first time. Oh, God damn. You got it. You did it. The, uh, the freak helicopter incident actually contributed to something good. All right, now let's go home. <laughs> Time for grilled cheese. Cheese it to celebrate? One cheese it to celebrate while we run home? I still need to get my car. <laughs> the van is still trapped <laughs> at like the north end of the road. It's going to be a long way to get that van back. All right, let's fix the rabbit trap. Give me the potatoes. I'll take the scrap wood as well. And then don't forget my little... Uh... Rabbits. My prize. For all my trapping. Alright, this one can stay behind. These two coming with me. And drop off the spear. I'll dismantle these watches. A little electrical. Tune in next week when Rat 8 sees his van again after two months. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. At this rate, we'll make it to West Point by spring. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. That last helicopter was very disparaging. I feel the despair after witnessing that last helicopter and basically flooding the road with zombies that I thought I had painstakingly been clearing for the past five months, four or five months. Oh, my worms are growing. All right, you can go 
in the freezer. You can go... Uh, I guess you're going in the fridge. Too big. You're hungry. Go ahead and eat. And then we'll read... We'll read your tailoring book. Where is the tailoring book? There it is. Thought I'd lost you. And alright, I won't lie to you chat, we're gonna be winding down the stream. Oh my goodness, I did almost 10 hours. Shame on me. I should not, I can't do this. Alright, um... <laughs> but we got it, we got that PB. Oh, boring. Congrats on the PB. Have you ever thought about a zombie <laughs> petting zoo? You've seen it. You've seen where I'm. Thank you. Thank you for the thousand bits and all the bits you gave before. Boorish toaster. Thank you. Thank you. No rat nine yet. Yeah, I gotta sleep. Congrats. Well, for those of you who it's still morning time, we will find someone to raid. Those of you who've been here, thank you so much. Thanks for all the resubs, the gifted subs, Chelsea Bits. Thank you for the raid. Let's see. We'll keep the train going. Who's up and playing Project Zomboid tonight? To find out when the zombie apocalypse is happening. It's happening Friday. <laughs> it's happening Friday.